It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. Ah, uh, yeah. How's everybody doing today? I have to say. this title out of the ether and I love it help me step zero I'm stuck <laughs> uh, we're gonna have fun today if I can unlock the game oh yeah let me save this to my stream because I like it All right. I'm going to let people come in. We're going to make this a little bit more a beat, though. I mean, we kind of have to. What is this? Kind of perfect for what we're doing here today. Hello, how are you today? I love royalty free music. One, it's free. Two, I don't get in trouble. Jeez, that I haven't been able to find jewelry that'll fit that. Oh yeah, that that was <laughs> Okay. So to be fair. I remember. But it wasn't that it was necessarily super painful. It's that you just didn't want to go through the flesh. At all. <laughs> the most nervous I've ever seen you in your life. But, hey, you got through, point to point. It was probably one of the straighter piercings I've gotten done by someone else, which says a lot. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, how often do you kind of want to stab me anyway? Just saying. I mean, worst case scenario, I... I bleed out. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I bleed out. But I look cool while I do it. Best case scenario, you do fine. And you learn that it's an easy, easier process than you made it out to be. I guess it was trust. I trusted an artistic person. I mean... No cream Twinkies, my friend. Where there's a will, there's a way. I'm adding this to my stream music. This is just great for what we're doing today, for sure. All right. Gotta open the can to drink the fluid. And before anybody, in before judgment about me drinking natural light. First off, white trash, white claw. You can't tell me otherwise. 
second off, I had $9.60 in my bank account this morning. I now have 20 cents. So I'm not flat broke. Those only cost me $7. And then I got an energy drink because I felt sluggish. So we're doing good. We're doing good. So it tastes like piss. But hydration is important. So. I think I've stalled long enough. Let's see if we can get... Well. Let me see if I can get my controller. First. Because I prefer to... Get comfortable. That's fine, 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 man. I'm here. As all night as I can be. All right. Controller. It is connected. All right. Let's get the game fired up then. Got the next game I might be playing up there. Let's get rid of that. All right. Why you no work with controller? Hmm. I pay for this new used controller if you know where. Anybody know how to make this shit work? Hmm? Any uh big brain folks know what the fuck is wrong? <laughs> Why can't I just recline and play the game? Fuck me. Okay. Without further ado. I suppose we'll just again. Yes, we will load the save. Okay, so from what I've read, All right, two hands. All right. I believe I have to go through with... Eh? I don't remember. Let me look that up. <laughs> I don't want to waste your time by locking myself into a, a terrible, terrible cycle where I no, make no progress for several hours. So, let's ask Google. Yes. Huh. Why did I search what Termina in me Boca means? That from don't look that up by the way do not put that into google translate there we go early game because it is early game still but we're stuck at the door of truth game spot Okay. 
I am stuck at the Door of Truth with no password. Looks very much like an in-game thing, but I can't travel anywhere else at all. Not even back to the execution coding. It looks like I can only travel to the exclamation points, and the only one is back to Door of Truth. Oh. Okay. Can't skip this cutscenes. Hey, Norman, what's up? Okay. That's almost bad. What in the world is going on? We went into the input pots, and now we came right back out of the same ones. But not the export pots. Did the process fail? Brodinger's no, transporter. Wait. Hold on a sec. Let me think about this for a minute, okay? Get it now. Okay. You understand you share. what happened? Remember what Zero said. This transporter isn't one that simply teleports various objects. What is transferred is only the atomic data. The object itself does not get transported. My god, that means there's two of you now. I remember one time with my grandma years ago. The first time she sent me a fax, she said, The paper came back, Sigma. Maybe it didn't go through successfully. It sounds like a horror movie, the paper. It's came the same back. thing. Just like how the fax doesn't send the actual paper, we too. Our original bodies remain. And only the red data went to the transfer point? This is the future. We fax ourselves. But there's one thing I don't get. Why is this me, the one that stays? If our data did end up transferring correctly, it wouldn't have been a surprise to see we were in the transfer point world. So why are we still here? <sighs> Sorry, I know how strange this sounds. It's clearly an esoteric conundrum. Even after yes, thinking clearly. extensively on it, I'm not sure I'd figure it out. But I do know one thing for sure. We've run out of cards in our deck. Okay. I think we did it. Now we can select other people. We unlocked it. Alright, I don't want to be the creepy kid. Who I do not trust. Find out more with uh, Kane, Junpei, and Carlos, who are all totally still alive. Yes. Let me clear some room for some things. Not gonna need this. This is... The rec room. It's the new year. Huh. The vote was at 1330. So we slept for over 10 and a half hours. Well, Hell of a nap. not necessarily. Right. Zero explained it earlier. <coughs> Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your brain will activate. An anesthetic and an agent to erase your memories will be administered. Uh, we might have just forgotten we did. So, we've woken up a bunch of times already? Something well, 
horrible could have happened, and we don't remember it. Oil. Man, I can't even think about it without getting chills. No this good. Is all very it's locked. So it's like usual, and we're trapped. How about a drink to pass time then? There's a lot of things we can do here. Uh, Junpei, in 90 minutes we'll. Uh, I'm kidding. Um, when you said drink, did you? Well, we are 22, you know. I'm no longer that little boy who played Old Maid with you years ago. Damn. Is that so? True. Looks, tastes, and other superficial things change with time. But there must be something inside you that's still the same. Nope. Swimming, going to festivals, getting into snowball fights in the schoolyard. During the incident with the rabbits, you protected me, didn't you? What about it? The Junpei from back then, he must be somewhere. He did. <laughs> Says the one of us who changed first. Uh, no, you might not have changed at all. <laughs> it's just me seeing things I missed before. Bro, is he like tell super you salty about the whole... Junpei. Say what you need to. Well, there's time to say it. Oh, Carlos! <laughs> the hell? You make it sound like I'm some brat who lies to himself. Once, I couldn't save my parents because of my inexperience. You? Wait, you weren't a firefighter then? I was 18. I'd only just passed the test. I'd come home after... A birthday present for my sister. I don't know why I'm shocked this game got heavy all of a sudden. I had arrived but. before the fire department. That's why I. Carlos, I'm here! I'm over here! I managed to save my sister, but not my mother and father. It was because of their support. That I could become a firefighter. And I. I was never able to even thank him. Plot twist the sister set the fire. <sighs> to Sorry. test him. G0, I kind of brought the mood down. Anyway, I just wanted to say I don't want the two of you to end up having any regrets. If you have something to say, say it while you're alive. Huh. While we're alive. Please don't say that. It's bad luck. <laughs> Good point. Okay. Let's find a way out of here. That is the first step to staying alive. Okay. What? This jam? It's jam 100% pure. Carlos, why are you staring at it? Do you recognize it? Yeah, my sister really likes this. I bought it for a lot. Take some in the morning and you'll be strong and beautiful inside and out. What the fuck? Jam 100% pure. I'd hear her quote that ad all the time. Great, you have such a fond memory, but you should never make your voice that high. Sounds like a TV commercial game aimed at young girls. Oh. Jam 100% pure. Never thought I'd see it again. Take it. This is a chess rule book. We're supposed to check this. Bro, if I have to play chess to solve this room. I think we're gonna be here for a very, very long fucking time. I understand how chess works. I'm just incredibly terrible at it. He says while chugging natural light.
chest. And the chessboard doesn't want to open. But I don't see anything keeping it shut. And there's something off about the word chess here. Is it just me? Even. Yeah, the E in chess is mirror. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. That's why I tried so often. out since it doesn't look like a number. Okay. That. That. Oil. A bottle of oil. It says oil. 130 milliliters on it. Maybe it's for the fireplace. I wonder why the label says that though. Maybe 130 milliliters oil is the max you can put in the fireplace before it explodes. Or you need to use 130 mils of oil to get your fried chicken to taste delicious. Fried chicken, what is this? Zero's cooking hour? Hey, that'd be a fucking show I'd watch. I don't even know what that word is. <laughs> I'm kidding, I know what shogi is, but you're correct. Absolutely not. Hmm. Oil, 130 milliliters. If you measure it in parentheses. I want your stabby stick. Hold on, this thing's holding something in its right hand. Is it a fire hook? Yeah, buddy. Stabby stick. Fireplace, there's no fire in it right now. Oh, it's big enough to fit someone inside. How funny would it be if Zero decided to play hide and seek here? You and I have different opinions on what is funny to you, okay? Something stuck in the helmet. Chart with the letters of the alphabet. Alright. Oh, fuck. Yeah, fuck that. I'm sure it'll all make sense later. <laughs> Let's look around at it. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Oh shit, hold on. More stuff here. What is this? The small wooden box. Maybe we can use it for something. Let's take it with us. Actually, let's inspect Dominate this box. I don't see a lid to open it anywhere. You can hear something when I shake it. Hey, Junpei, try to karate chop it open. If I could do that, I'd make a career as a pro fighter. Set 24 matches. Matches. They don't feel wet, so we can still use them. Let's see what insight they have on this one. They're matches. You can start a fire if you strike one against a rough surface. Easy for me now, but I was afraid of lighting fires when I was young. Now that you mention that, I remember watching you being scared to light a firework. Oh, you still remember? Yeah, I seem to recall you cowering and hiding like a baby behind me. Oh, don't tease me like that. Lovely, lovely. Did I examine this yet? A fire hook for putting and arranging things in a fireplace. You could use it as a weapon, but I don't think I'd be able to break down the door. Ah, it's Sunset 24. And why are you shouting, Junko? You don't know, Carlos? They're super rare. You can't find them anywhere anymore. I remember as a slogan when I was a kid. The setting sun at 24. A perfect match. Man, always wanting to be cold. Just a cigarette. Why do you have to be 24 to smoke it? Whatever. You said it's rare. Oh. Can't just take them for fun? Maybe? Records. 
sad man, 570. <laughs> There's a legend about this guy. You're not supposed to ever drink it. It's so bad, wine experts everywhere lose their will to live after tasting it. It's Mad Dog. It's just Mad Dog 2020. It's like Pandora's box, but with wine. It's all right if you open it, but please don't drink it. Bottle of water. Bottle of water, bottle of water. That must be full of carrots in a bottle. So they bottle of them. Come on, come on. You say something. A gamer movie. I'm so serious, Junpei. It's just that the Tower of Cards, my fingers are itching to knock it down. Same here, but it'd be a shame to destroy all that hard work. Top of the card, so it's two these. A plus, a minus, and equal signs. It must be a math equation. They're all 14. What have we here? ripped in half over to the side. Alright. What is this? Okay. Let's see what we got here. Like five coins. So I'm assuming I have to do five tasks. Ooh, what is this? Below the floor store. Just see a narrow slit on the top. I'd be able to open this with our bare hands. Uh -huh. But with this, hey, that damn smart. Maybe we can use this fire hook to open the cover. A wooden hammer. Combine this. All right, for the shot. My first instinct is to just hit things.
write that down. Five, five, six, four, three. X through it. All right. So that's that's like momentum, right? shape buttons are really stuck on. I doubt we can take them off. It'd be a lot of fun to play with them though. Okay. Let's try to start a fire. Seeing a fire in a fireplace during winter makes you feel warm. really strong. Maybe we could put it out first just in case. You know I love the way you guys are thinking. Let's use this bottle of water to put out the fire. What's happened? What happened to the box? You can see the ashes of the box there inside the fire. Oh my god. Don't be a pussy. You can use your hands. Third degree burns are for champions. We use this fire hook, we can poke around inside the fireplace. Hey, is that a coin underneath the ashes of the box? Just tossing that box in is the right thing to do after all. Let's grab it. Let's see what we have here. 5, 21, 26, and 28. 5, 1, 2, 1, 26, 28. Red, black, just make sure I know which ones are which. Hit big. Level. Just like the ones you find in the C numbers. You gotta input it. Let's test it out. So brilliant. <laughs> All we had to do was input the. I was trying to think of a four letter word that had to do with a rat. I got so excited. All we had to do was input the corresponding letter from the chart. That was a. That was what that. 
fuck me. Okay. Well. Brute force, baby. Getting through puzzles on accident. Yeah. All you have to do is input the corresponding letter from the chart. Well, that was more straightforward than I expected for this place. He gave me the whole ass roulette wheel. Yeah. That's a hell of a trophy. Give me that coin. Well, look at stuff with a hammer. Oh, chest. Yeah. There you go. That'll work, right? Oh. Maybe we get to see with this hammer. A cylindrical piece came out. Now the chessboard was locked. That's pretty tricky. Seven from the chess set. There are three windows showing chess pieces. We can do something with it. Yes. Um, Something came out. A coin. And a note with numbers on it. Well done, Carlos. Oh. What the jam? Alright, so I have. I just have a fucking wheel. Get attached to the table. Where can we use it? As if zero would go through the effort of making a hat. I might die from how stupid that is. Now, if we pull the lever, what? three sevens on the first spin, jackpot! Oh, something small came out of the machine. Oh God. Okay. This is what came out of the machine. It looks like puzzle pieces. Too bad it's not coins. What can we use these for? I'm sure it's a puzzle. A total of ten pieces. They're all different sizes. I'm going to make a shape of them, but it's going to be hard to get them all different. Oh. 
hug her. Can I rotate these things? Yes. It doesn't matter if they overlap, does it? Because it's not seeming like it does. So that changes things. I'm just dumb. I think I'm doing this right. I'm also not certain at all.
getting heated in this motherfucker. Up. But we shall see.
God, he's doing it. Something came out of the bottom. A coin and a card calendar. So now I just gotta figure out the coin thing. Yes, yeah, so let's look at this. I'm sorry, was emphasizing. There's a weird barcode on the back. Things are eliminated. So ace is one. Started playing music. Oh, if there's buttons. Those buttons. Buttons? Buttons. Those buttons that look like dice fell out. I don't think turning the machine on will cause the dice to fall off. Who comes up with these gimmicks?
dice will fit here. Let's find out. Dice fit perfectly, but nothing's happening. There's two digits. Maybe it's like a locker and you need certain numbers. We should try some combinations then, Carlos. Jarring. I guess. No. Okay. Addiction aside. Minus and plus. All right, let's try this number. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right, let's see if this actually works.
Let me do all of them at once. Probably should have been doing this as I was going instead of just collecting the coins. But hey. <coughs> I was in the zone. And now we finally have all five. Yes, we did it. The glass cover and the button is open. The coins here did open. Oh god, we finally pushed this button. Does it really open the door? You know, you're right, it could be a trap. What's happening? That guy's rushing. What? You don't want to want it to push it so badly. This is probably not going to explode or anything. Okay, and the elves here, so I'll do the pushing. <laughs> what? Oh my god. What the hell is this shit? Looks like we have some this branching isn't even decisions. A fucking game. I mean, it is It's like Yahtzee, we just need triple ones. What are the odds? Huh? Uh, the odds will get all the dice to roll a one. Oh, um, it's one two hundred and sixty, so about zero point four six percent. Zero point four six? Gatling guns operational in thirty seconds. I mean, you could just... Shit, there's no time. Just roll them. Still, something I need to say. Huh? Ten. Nine. Uh, okay, then. Here we go. Come on. Pray hard. If we pray, then it's gotta... All sixes. Let's go. I need to decide <laughs> to not roll the dice. to get violent. Wait, 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 wait. That one doesn't count. Oh, oh. 
So go through with my friends. A friendly reminder. Better chance was to sacrifice one person and just hide behind them. Meat now soaks up bullets. The current casualties. Q team. Q. Mira. Eric. D team. Diana. Sigma. C team. Carlos, Junpei, Akane. These eight are now deceased. <coughs> yeah, buddy. That's sad. All right. Let's roll the dice again. I kind of want to see what happens if I roll the dice again. Yep. Save data. That. I want to do it again. Yep. Let's get through it. Let, let, let's roll them dice. There's still something I need to say. <laughs> I mean, there's no way we could just fuck it up again, right? So everybody dies no matter what. Let's try. I got one more one than last time. I'm going to try it one more time. Because I believe in the heart of the di dice. If nothing, I'm a gambling man. Run it one more time. After this, we'll move on to other stuff. But oh, God damn it! There's uh. All right. oh. the Oxy, motherfucker. Blessed by Lady Luck. Fucking thought. I want to know why there's a lock behind his- Huh? No way! Oh, yes! Yes! Hell yeah! You're lucky, lucky. We're alive! We're actually alive! Yeah! <laughs> hey, why are the two of you just standing there? Guys, it's 1216. <laughs> we just got a miracle. Uh, yeah. You're, you're right. I just can't believe it. It only took three tries. We're alive, right? <laughs> just of don't look behind the bar. Alive. <laughs> what? Do, do I look like a ghost to you? 
orc and yeah, undead Jimbo does zombie. Die a lot. <laughs> if I was, then my heart wouldn't be pounding a mile a minute right now. <laughs> Come on, let's blow this popsicle stand. We definitely gotta have a toast back in the lounge. Ridiculous excitement. What are you doing? Hurry up! I don't think I've seen Jimmy be this excited since grade school. Oh yeah? I guess. Not dying will do that. He's still the same guy you knew underneath, huh? Hmm. I'm really glad. That we're alive? Or... Both. I'm just gonna muscle in on your girls, Junpei. You best... Was that right? <laughs> Nothing beats a cold one after surviving a close call. <laughs> Come on! You guys should join me. Sorry. I'll pass. I'm really not in the mood for it. <laughs> for real? Are you serious? Hey, are you already drunk? Drunk on life! I am buzzed on this kick-ass feeling of surviving the impossible! Hmm. You probably shouldn't drink too much, Junpei. <laughs> Why not? We're just going to conk out again in 40 minutes anyway, remember? We just experienced the miracle of hitting 1 216th odds. 0.46%, guys! Come on! <laughs> Let's use the remaining time we have to savor this awesome moment. Hmm. A miracle, huh? It definitely would be if it happened on the first try. Guys, well, what are you saying? Okay. We only threw the dice once, right? Yeah, this works, don't you? Are you sure about that? Maybe? We just don't remember. And in reality, we've rolled the dice over and over again. Uh -huh. dice. If we threw them three times, the probability would be 72 to 1. I wouldn't really call those odds a miracle. Wait. Oh, so Did what? I have to do it just three really times? Matter? <laughs> I'll say it again. We've only gone and thrown the dice once. Once. <laughs> right, Carlos? No, we did. Yeah, that's true. What are you trying to say, Akane? Carlos, let's say you were going to roll ten dice all at the same time. So, do you think you'd end up with all of them displaying a one? Of course not. It's impossible. Right. The probability is sixty million four hundred and sixty-six thousand. Man, what is this math blast of shit these people one, are pumping into their veins? But that's veins. essentially impossible. If you tried sixty million four hundred and sixty-six thousand one hundred and seventy-six times, however, what would happen? The likelihood of all of them being one is not so much of an impossibility, right? I'll give you another example. Junpei, if two to the fourth power, 16 people, compete in a rock, paper, scissors tournament, how many matches are needed before a winner can be determined? Why are you talking about... Just answer the question. We've got 40 minutes of this shit. Uh, you better buckle up, buddy. Really? Uh, okay. Uh, first, the 16 narrow down to eight. Then eight to four and four to two. After the final round... Uh, one person's left standing, so... Uh, a, a total of four? So, what would happen if two to the 100 did the same thing? Hmm. It'd be a hundred. And how confident do you feel about winning this tournament, Junpei? I'm not, obviously. You're out of the competition after you lose just one match. You'd have to win a hundred rounds straight to win. But someone will do it and win, right? A victor who wins a hundred matches without losing one will exist. Do you know what I'm trying to say? The we just call it magic and won, move on. Won, but only because of circumstance. I mean, more or less. Well, duh, but why are you... It may be obvious, but it's important. 
the one who lives on does so due to circumstance. The anthropic principle. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, it's oh, connected to the many worlds and multiverse theories. What the hell are you? This universe is a little too well suited for human beings. That principle explains why. As soon as this cutscene's over, I'm gonna grab some food. For example, that if Jupiter was just a bit smaller, the Earth likely wouldn't have even formed. That's not the only instance either. There are physical constants throughout the universe. But if even one had changed the tiniest bit, humanity wouldn't have been created at all. Yes, but anyone can see we do actually exist. And that's exactly my point. We exist. Therefore, we know that we exist. Perhaps somewhere in reality, there are countless universes devoid of humanity where the idea of humans didn't even begin. But it isn't possible to know if those other universes exist or not. That's, not That's because Just there are no human beings to observe within them. The only universe we can measure is our own. Therefore, this is the universe we exist in. Wait, are, are you talking about tautology? One plus one equals two is a form of tautology also, right? The left and right sides of the equation say the same thing. That's sophistry. Are you sure? Anyway, I get what you're trying to say, Akane. Maybe, somewhere in this world, there are an infinite number of histories where we were executed by the Gatlingons. <coughs> Just two. But we don't know if those histories really exist. The one where you went crazy with the gates off. Uh, because we're dead in those histories. The dead can't observe the world. Only those who are still alive can do that. Therefore, we exist here, now. So... The opposite of what I just explained could be true as well. The universe could be not meant for humanity. Maybe there's one not limited by gravity, where they travel faster than light. You can't say for sure such a universe doesn't exist. If it does, then we could expect that aliens would be interacting together within it. Okay, now that sounds like fun. Maybe that was the universe oh, we're bringing God had intended in the first bringing place. Bringing aliens back into it, eh? And this one is a failure. Oh, and deep, deep, deep into so the alien shit. we exist in the universe God abandoned, huh? What's the matter? Ah, uh, you guys talking like this, I, I don't feel like drinking anymore. Kind of getting the feeling I was an idiot for acting like we won the lottery. I mean, don't you agree? There could be a history somewhere out there that's happier than ours right now. Then maybe it's really true. We might be in the history God abandoned. That announcement? Five X passes were released. The only one left to die is Five from D Team, and then we. Junpei! Don't you ever say that, even if it's a joke. You smacked the shit out of that guy.
I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't see that ring there, buddy. Okay. I found the word Delta again, which is pretty cool. All right. Uh, I'm gonna grab some food and I'll be right back. In the meantime, nothing. I'm I'm literally doing nothing. I'm just going to grab a plate of food. I shall return. Hold tight. Ah, uh -huh, salad, motherfucker. Nothing screams self care like puzzle games, beer, and salad in my hair. And salad. All right, back to it. Oh, all three of them are in it, so. This is called the decontamination room? I think you're supposed to clean off after returning from the surface. Well, that was for when there was a nuclear war and the world was contaminated. Ah, uh, that explains the showerheads. <sighs> Just as I thought. This won't open either. The map shows an elevator hall beyond this door. If we came down the elevator normally, we'd be able to run into this room immediately, but... What about that? It's connected to the lounge. I checked it earlier, but no dice. I'm locked up tight. Do you think Zero trapped us in here to make us play the decision game? It's pretty obvious at this point. 1810. I think it was about 1330 when we finished voting and the drug put us to sleep. So that means we were napping like toddlers for four and a half hours. Oh. Junpei. I have something I've been wanting to ask you. During the vote earlier, you told Carlos. Come on, Carlos. Vote for Q-Team. Yeah, what about it? What about? How could you be so horrible? You used to... You'd never have said that a year ago. Oh, like you're one to talk. What? What? What happened to you, Junpei? What happened while I was gone? I'd like to know more about you, too. What's that, Carlos? Does that mean you're interested in me? No. Uh -huh. My focus is my little sister. 
Got no time for a love life. Heh, <laughs> so our hero of justice has a sister complex. Junpei? Carlos really is worried about you. Well, it's more I want to know about you both. Weren't you friends as kids? And last year you were trapped just like this and escaped together. So why? Why the animosity, you mean? That's exactly why. Junpei. I've seen people die. Horrible, cruel deaths I never wanted to see. So many. I'm probably becoming numb. After what happened last year, I quit school and joined a detective firm. Oh, man. What made you want to do that? It was all because of Akane there. She up and disappeared, so I went to a firm to try and find her. It's small, but known to work among the underground. I've snuck into places running human organ trafficking like they're trading cookies. Saw a co-worker I'd just finished eating with pushed off a rooftop the other day. Never had a by-the-books case where I just had to prove he cheated. Every job that passed my hands was dirty and dangerous. That's when I realized... Humans aren't as beautiful as I thought. I'd only been skimming the surface all this time. So every day, after work, I'd drink myself to sleep. I slept in my bathtub with a shower running. It was the only way I was able to get the scent of blood off me. Sorry, brother. But last month, finally, finally, I got intel through our network that Akane was joining this experiment. So that's why you came to decon. Yeah, I threatened those in charge and forced my way in. So, um, Akane, how's Santa? Uh, I mean, Aoi. My brother. I heard about Ace. He's stuck in jail if he hasn't escaped yet. Lotus is doing all right. She's working and raising her kids still. Who told you this? That detective guy, Seven. I worked with him once. We destroyed Free the Soul's headquarters. Destroyed? Hey, uh, what's Free the Soul? A religious cult. <laughs> They're a freaky terrorist organization who never stop trying to create their new world. They abducted my brother and I ten years ago. And the game we played last year was related to that big kidnapping case. My brother and I were trying to track Free the Soul's movements, but... You were too, Junpei? I came across some info on them while I was working. Seven was the one still on their trail. But I kind of think we went too far by destroying their headquarters. I'm pretty sure we pissed off their boss. I, I think his name was Brother. So wait, you're saying this Zero the Second has something to do with him? You know anything about it, Akane? I already told you, I'm not connected to this. I don't know why this person is calling themselves Zero. Why don't you enlighten us as to why you joined DCOM, Akane? Junpei. Someone using that name has thrown us into a similar game. No way you can ask me to believe they're unrelated. Hell yeah, get mad. Stop it, Junpei. From what I can tell, Akane's the victim. I'm here to change the future. See, you don't have a dick. This bitch is time Free travel fucking with shit. The is currently attempting to implement a terrifying plan. I infiltrated the experiment to stop that. So you knew that this game would happen? I don't know. I didn't know any specifics about all of this. But you just said it's to change the future. A very distant future. So you access the morphogenetic field and... D Hold up. What are you talking about? Hold up. Is you guys snails or termites? Uh, why do you have to interrupt now? All three rooms are very different tales. Unacceptable. I can't say this is an ideal situation for any of us at all. It appears that none of you fully grasp the essence of this game. Think back on the rules you were told. You will remain in the shelter. He's 
ignite me. The other two teams are listening to a message just like this one. In their ward's decontamination room. What? The construction of all of them are the same. A yellow button exists on the wall of each. Oh, that thing. Pressing it activates the showers of the other wards, and they will rain down a solution of hydrogen fluoride. Hydrogen fluoride? It's not only acidic enough to melt a body, but it even dissolves glass and iron. Explaining what would happen if you were under it seems unnecessary. But not all is your right to freedom. Using it will kill the other teams, and you will obtain the needed X passes to escape. One final thing to tell you. The early bird gets the worm. After the first team pushes it, the button will become inactive for both of the other teams. <laughs> oh, shit. Time limit is three minutes. What Boop. will you do? Will you press it? Or refuse? It is ultimately all up to you to decide. Isn't it obvious? Do they? Wait! Let's think about this. Get out of my way, Akane. We need to push the button before the other teams do. What are you saying, Junpei? Are you really planning to sacrifice everyone else so you can escape? Yep. It's to survive. It's kill or be killed. So we need to make sure to kill them first. Junpei. We've changed so much. And whose fault is that? Ah. Junpei. Damn you! Do you want to die? You're okay with never seeing your sister again. Maria. No way in hell I'm dying. I did not go through everything just to die today. Oh, this is a big move. No, don't, Carlos. If none of the teams push it, then it has to be like when we voted. While you're wishing on a star, we'll end up killed. Junpei! Push it, Carlos! Do you know how much I like buttons? Oh. Sorry. Really like pushing buttons. <laughs> Carlos, why? No, no, Akane. Hey, um, you did good, Carlos. Junpei? You've dedicated your life to saving people, so this is probably hard for you. But what you did is... Stop, stop! <laughs> Carlos! It wasn't me! Someone took my hand It and... was me! Uh, you're not going to say the devil made you do it, are you? I pressed the button. Me? Uh, maybe it's stress, or you've always had that urge very deep down inside. Blamed your bad judgment calls on something controlling you? Come on, it, it's just part of being human. Uh, life experiences. Just melted a whole team of people. You made a wise decision. You sacrificed the lives of others in order to continue your own survival. Zero. It truly is a natural human reaction. You simply made an emergency evacuation. The action is legally justifiable. There is no blame to be placed on you for your decision. Now, I'm sure you would like to get out of here immediately. But before that, I apologize. But you must all sleep again. But why? Uh, it is 1929. Time for good kids to be in bed, or something. You have done exactly as I commanded. <laughs> About that. <laughs> I'm gonna rewind that anyway and not press the button. Alright. So let's go. 
Well, this is new. Yeah, well, let's see what happens. This is... The decontamination room. Do I have to watch them all die? This is weird. Weird? I feel like I've been trapped in this room before. You must be imagining things. I guess. Uh, this button. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, something isn't right. No, it's not. Maybe we've forgotten about this place. Drugs and the bracelets? What? <laughs> the game made me come back to select it. Oh, that's sick. I love it. Chunks. Yeah, um, you know how I like pressing buttons. Now announcing the current casualties. Q-Team, Q, Mira, Eric, D-Team, Diana, Vi, Sigma. These six are now the deceased. Code. As a result, six X-Passes will be revealed. Self, Rip, Lake, Bird. Right. I... It would be inconvenient if you forgot the cause of the deaths of others. Wow, uh, that was fast. Huh. We put these passwords in and we can reach the surface. But to get them, the other teams... Uh, it's not your fault, Carlos. I've been busting my ass for the past ten years. I wanted to save as many lives as I could. And you only lost I six. It's hard to do that. Leucochloridium. Or Spinocordodes teleniae. Have you heard of either of these creatures? Bitches casting spells. Uh, why are you suddenly. They inhabit and control the actions of creatures larger than them. Parasites. Are you suggesting we were controlled by whatever that was you said? Leucochloridium are snail parasites. Praying mantises and grasshoppers get Spinocordodes teleniae. So they don't attach to humans. Correct. <coughs> I've heard of one, however. Toxoplasma gondii. Toxoplasma gondii? Rats with toxoplasmosis no longer fear their predator, the cat, and are in fact drawn to the smell of their urine. Gross. The rats are attracted to cats? They're pissed. For humans infected with toxoplasma gondii, changes in actions and personality have been reported. You become a risk taker, your reactions slow, or you become extremely sensitive. My God. Are you saying Carlos? pushed that button because of something like that? I don't know. But it's more realistic than saying you were possessed by a devil. A human controlling parasite. (laughs) 
We're leaving the dog behind. Let's punch in those codes, because I wrote them down. Are you guys ready? Yes. No problems here. All right. Then let's put in the passwords. other timelines. Oh, it's very specific. I don't know. It opened. It opened. Let's hurry. The door will close right away. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, what? What are you standing around for? Carlos? <coughs> I... I can't leave with you guys. What? Huh? I made a promise in another history that I'd definitely save you two. Another history? What nonsense are you babbling about? Come on, hurry up! Later, guys. Carlos! The fuck? Is it Kevin? Kevin Klein? Have I inhabited his brain, buddy? Just hang on. I'm going to go save you now. Run into a fucking brick wall? Okay. That was a, a choice, but now we're going to make the choice where we don't press the button at all, because we kind of have to. Yep. do is not do anything for 10 seconds and then more than likely just melt no button pressing this time the longest 180 seconds ever yeah it was like 10 <laughs> you're telling me i'm nearly drowning in my own sweat <laughs> like i practically had that acid bath already fuck yeah acid bath. it seems that many of us understand it so i shall clear it up for you i never said the showers would activate as soon as the button was pressed which means you've yet to learn whether the button has been activated by someone what? No! Then when will we? Less than a minute left before we're knocked out. That means... So you're saying we won't even know until we're already melted into goo? Now, it's time for you to sleep. When next you wake, you will know that you will have no memory of these past nine minutes. I wonder if I can get online and order one of those watches. <laughs> I mean, Halloween is coming up. All right. Do we stick with Carlos or do we go to Q's team and figure it out? I'm having fun playing as Carlos, figuring shit out. 
Might as well just keep this party going. Yeah. I like this party possibly the most. I don't know. Sigma and uh, fire. Pretty. Damn it! Uh, I figured brute force wouldn't work. So this is control. The air, water, and electricity for the shelter are all managed here. This is probably where transmissions to the outside world happen. Uh, but... It's disconnected. Oh, I guess we can't order a bunch of pizza then, huh? There are a lot of monitors here. I think this might let us review the footage from the security cameras. Huh? There are security cameras in this place? Carlos, it's 2028. I'd be more surprised if there aren't cameras hidden everywhere. Uh, she's right. The ones I used for work were about the size of a woman's nipple. Well, I, I guess um, not uniformly. Uh, nipple sizes differ. Good save. A carbon dioxide extinguisher. <laughs> You're definitely a firefighter. Your eye spots different things than us. Occupational hazard. And base spots nipples. Whenever I go somewhere new, I end up checking the extinguishers first thing. I see. And because you do that all the time, you're able to save so many lives. It's really nothing much. What are you talking about? You dive into danger without thinking twice about your own safety. You do it like it's nothing. I think that's pretty amazing. You know, I I doubt it's all that. What are you trying to say? Well, Carlos was just doing what he was trained to do. Yeah, he's not that cool. Yeah, it's like you said. Uh, not like I'm sorry, Carlos. Him. He's acting out now. Totally fucks. Junpei used to rush to the rescue a lot when we were younger. <laughs> sorry, but I am done with playing the action hero. But why? Because I grew up. You just sound even more childish to me. Uh, it's January 1st. Worst way to start the year off. Uh, I've never not been able to say Happy New Year to Maria before. Maria? My little sister. Well, uh, take comfort knowing she's alive, at least. Don't forget what Zero said. <clears throat> Very few of you will find yourselves able to welcome a new 2029. Anyway, let's just figure a way out of this room. Got it. Yeah, if we don't get our butts in gear, it might be 2030 before we even get out. <laughs> Shut up. Free poster. Okay, then let's make it make like we're flipping up a girl's skirt. Or sunglasses or sunglasses. Line. Ah, so there is treasure from flipping things up. Ah. Okay. Sunglasses found behind the hook. Behind the poster. Two pieces are missing. They're vital when it's vital when it's summer and the sun is bright. Not so much in the winter like now. I've always liked him since I was a kid. Doesn't it seem like they make it look cool? But yeah, just like in that movie, the one fighting against the Peter AI. Classic. I have to say, I'm surprised you know that old movie. It's one of my favorites. Let's look 
table. Let's see, we hold it up to the map. Well, what the fuck? Well, it will. Super, super, that really good happen. I'm going to avoid those because they look like bombs. Knobs left and right. Reminds me of closing a gas valve. I have to let a cat out. Hold on.
Well. <laughs> Memo. Oh, this one's like. Okay. This is not right, you son of a bitch.
Okay, I'm just gonna try to get the orientation as perfect as I can. We'll check it every fucking time. Because I have it like the fucking. myself with my notes. Alright. Oh, it seems like we were right. Well, the monitor was a hint for this after all. Yep. All the monitor's open. Let's see what's in there. So what's in here? Ball battery. Maybe it attaches to something. This. Hard with some numbers on it. Looks like there's three modes, A, B, and C. We should pick one. Let's go to A mode. Oh boy. Let's get to doodling so I don't forget this shit. You know what? high voltage. So I always were scared of shattered shots during the winter, weren't you? I also make sure not to pull plugs out with wet hands. The shock and that terrifies me. <laughs> You're probably afraid of thunder too, aren't you? That thunder's scary as fuck.
Oh, what did I do wrong? Oh, the voltage sign somewhere else, didn't we? Let's check it again. Oh, hey, a card. This is the numbers written. Maybe something to happen. Let's take a look at this. Aha. Let's see. See that mark somewhere? Try C mode. What? Five means one to two.
I'm fucking smart. Uh, I think that did. darker. I'm gonna have to look through all these cards and figure out what the fuck's going on. But for right now, sweet, a third card. Video and sound. 
the sunglass become a head-mounted display? Uh oh, what's it like, Carlos? Hold on a second, at least. Press the button. Siberian Tybo. <laughs> no, because it's the numbers on those things. It's okay, it's okay. Oh. OK. 
Okay, so it is be tested by fire. I think. Let's find out. Progress. Returning the stands according to the instructions on the video brings that up. That was close. <sighs> Guess that extinguisher up there helped, huh? Yeah, I think so. But that's bringing its own problems. Huh? It doesn't look like it's stopping. Oh, it At this rate, we'll... of carbon dioxide in the air is roughly uh, 0.04. Now's not the time to be doing math. IDLH level kicks in around 5%. IDLH? <laughs> the highest concentration level you can uh, continue to safely inhale. You lose consciousness shortly after it hits 7%. And after that... Now commencing the decision game. <gasps> 
position game? Ten lockers are beside the door. Within one of them, there is an oxygen mask. Damn, damn. Which locker will you open? Damn. That's zero. We need to pick one quickly. But which number is correct? Please choose, Carlos. The probability is one in ten. No hints. We'll have to go with our gut. Okay. Ready to pull this band-aid off. We rolled this motherfucker ten times. Guys, looks like we're gonna do this ten times. Is that your final decision? What? What? I know which locker contains the oxygen mask. If there is a mask in the locker you chose, eight of the remaining nine lockers will randomly open. If the mask is not within the locker you chose, eight lockers. This is... The Monty Hall problem. The remaining lockers have been narrowed down to two. Which locker will you open? The exit door will be unlocked in 20 minutes. 20 minutes? There's no way it will last 20 minutes. <laughs> Yes, laughter. What's wrong, Junpei? The best way to conserve oxygen. Oh man, that's awesome luck for us. Our chances went from one in ten to fifty-fifty. That's not it, Junpei. The probability is it's actually. It's actually what? Akane. Akane. Are you okay? Damn, this isn't good. We need to get that mask fast. Which is it? Which one will it be in? I do believe I'm gonna stick to my guns with number nine. Right or wrong, I'm doing it again to see what happens when we all die. No. Why? No! It's no use. There's no way. That locker will open. Why? It's just how the pieces fall. Looks like we're out of luck. Akane, if only I could have heard your voice one last time. But it seems like... <laughs> Really sorry, forward, guys. Jinpei. Forgive me. Sorry. I couldn't save you. I just realized I've been talking to the back of my microphone all day. I'm so sorry, guys. You can probably hear me a lot better now. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, hey. Um... Are you sure? You're taking the word of that announcer earlier? It's completely rubbish. All of it. Then everyone's alive? Of course. We need to go get help. All 
right. Let's go. Okay. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs> oh, man. I still can't get over Siberian Tiber. <laughs> okay. Back. We're running it back down, guys. Save data, yes. Go back to that other one. I'm gonna go right here. Yep. You know, this game, I know the, the concept is to just die over and over again, as it were. But failing this many times over and over again does feel like... Like, it, does it cheapen the fact that I'm solving these puzzles, or does it not? How does everybody else feel about that? This is How the fuck? Oh. Why? No! It's no use. I've been bamboozled. There's no way. Oh, I get what I have to do. I have to choose the Why? other one. It's just how the pieces fall. Looks like... Well, I goofed. I get what's going on here now. Back. Yes, because I did nothing extra. I just learned that I'm dumb. Run it back! <laughs> Just a never ending cycle of just not getting what I need accomplished accomplished. Okay. So I'm gonna choose nine again. Okay. We're gonna run it back. Though it's whatever the other one is. It has to be now. Because my first choice is always the wrong choice, technically. Okay. Uh, yeah. we We're learning. It. Yeah, but. Oh, you gotta be joking. One. Are you telling me there's only one? The announcement. It never said <coughs> there would be three. No. Oh, no. But it'll all be all right. We'll just... We'll just rotate the mask between the three of us. We can't. Why? The door doesn't open for 20 minutes. The pump only has enough oxygen for one. Damn it! Oh, shit. What the hell? God! What the hell? Correct. The RNG gods have smiled upon us. Do I get to choose who lives? Hey, Carlos. I have a favor to ask. I know. I haven't been a firefighter for 10 years <clears throat> to make the wrong choice now. 
No need to pick. Choice was made for me. Such noble gentlemen. Hey, I'm glad I got to hear your voice one last time. Yeah. It brings back that time. It just makes festival. me think that, you know, technically we're, we're just giving a gas mask to we Zero together. at this point. You found if you remember the first game. Weird character mask. Two. You tried to make me wear one. Oh, that's right. You were wearing a Yukata then. You said it had been your mom's before she died. That's why it was so big on you. I want to go to that festival again. No. No. Just Hi. Hold, hug Where's her face gone? on. <laughs> no, you stay there. What? That's kind of a bummer. Kind of kills some of the gravitas of the deliver that line when it's. You know. Oh, this is only Akane escaping this time. <laughs> yeah, just watching them slowly die in front of you while they take turns struggling for the strength to keep the mask on your fucking face. <laughs> no, no, no. Stay. Oh, man. All right, Monty Hall, all sections cleared. We'll save now. And because I just enjoy watching Akane Junpei and, oh wait, no, never mind. I have nothing new to do with them, it seems. Oh, I could have fucked up the antidote thing. But we'll, we'll save that. Oh no, we technically... Did, yeah, that's still locked, okay. I'm... <laughs> <coughs> oh, fuck. What have we here? Choices, it seems. I'll pick this one. Jump here? Yes. Perhaps it's because it's questionable who he is. Perhaps uh, Zero? Mm hmm? In the pod room, I think. Something like that was written on the map. But I don't see any pods here. More importantly, where's Mira? Huh? Mira! Where is she? Well, Mira's not coming back. Me. Does that mean you don't know? Shit! I hope Zero didn't. I won't forgive him. I won't. Mira. Mira is my angel. Mmm, that's a little questionable there, bud. That didn't, Open. uh. Open! Eric, calm down. How can I be calm? Mira might be stuck all alone somewhere, crying her heart out. Fair. <sighs> Eric, you need to stay calm in moments like these. You're to be fair, it was a crossbow bolt. About like that. And then a gunshot. Please, Eric. I know. 
course I know that. But there's no way I can just sit still here. Mira, the person most important to me. When I think about how she must be suffering right now. I, I feel the same way. I don't want you or Mira a to touching be experience. All. It's hard for me to even think about it. Mm, a likely story. I don't have any memories. I don't even know who I am. I can't remember if I have someone important. Yeah. I know to you and the others, I look suspicious for a person you just met. But to me, how I am right now, everyone here is all I have. Because of that, I consider all of you very important to me. In my experiment, huh? Who want to like you. I mean, if I don't, I'll be really sad. What if he's just patient zero for like Radical Six, hey, and that's why the helmet's on him? I'm sorry about this. <laughs> yelling at you, I mean. Like you said. Oh, what a serial killer and a simp! Calm, yeah. Right. Pretty shit luck. Hey, right. Come on, let's find a way out of here, quick. And I'll adopt you, you. Help me to do that. Yeah. Of course. Jesus Christ, that dude's hands are huge. Oh, that child's hands are tiny. Uh, perspective's a fun thing. Alright, let's see. Let's have a look around. Something on the floor. Strike. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Looks like it can open. Hey, that's hammer. We can break down the door with this. No, I don't think so, but it's probably useful for someone else. <laughs> I'm not getting the Hitler vibes from Eric. I'm just getting... The, uh, soy latte vibes. It just screams suspicious. It's not a touch and you die trap, is it? What? I already touched it. At least it doesn't look like anything happened. What is this thing? Does it mean something? What is this? Huh. What's this portrait? Is it upside down? It's making my neck hurt. Maybe Zero's got a hobby. Can't say I get this, get a sense of art. Two grown-ups and two babies. Are they parents? Maybe it's just a decoration. Okay. What is this? <laughs> hey, there's a hole here. Stick your hand in, okay? Hmm, yes. What, and try to get... The gear? I don't really think my arm's long enough. Oh, come on, your hand's small, just do it! Maybe you can reach it. Okay, if you say so. Uh, uh, my arm's stuck. Now you just leave the kid behind. What are you doing? You're a total klutz. No way we could've reached it anyways. I was just joking, get it? You're so mean. You're the one who told me to do it. Uh, help me get my arm out. <laughs> Alright. I kinda like the idea of just teasing the kid with shit like that. What is this? Three green lines on the screen. What does it mean? Some kind of code? I don't know. I don't have enough information. Pod. Okay, so I clearly need to get the hammer to smash that. Okay.
Eh. Oh, you got it? I could have done it faster. Sure you could have, buddy. <laughs> you go ahead and do all the work. Because I, an intelligent grown man, have adult things to do. See, now I'm not going to tempt the, the RNG gods here and, you know, say that was a little too easy. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling right now. Yay, the cover can open now. Yeah, let's get the hammer. Now I can smash things with this. A hammer. Examine. It's a hammer. It's too big for me to swing around. It'd be great if it could break down the door. Okay. First things first, I'm going to try to break this glass with a hammer. <laughs> ow, ow, that hurts. My hands have gone numb. And the glass? Nope, not even a crack. I am not strong enough. Or is this hammer bad? Damn. Green lines on the... We hit the spot with a hammer, maybe. What the? F okay. Oh, what the hell? Hey, the room just tilted. Oh man, that was scary. Looks like hitting the bed. March rotates the room. I'm just the one in charge of all the hitting. Can I knock it out? Oh boy. Well, this is a whole fucking mess. All right, I don't need all the dialogue right here, guys. We get it. You're all very bad at hammer pushing. Okay, now we need to do this. Nope. Getting fucking dizzy, my guy. <laughs> What is that? Is that another... Hmm...
Yeah, I had it for a second. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but I'm also like, my brain hurt. <laughs> will actually let me go back for stuff. Sorry, brain. Dumb. Break it with this hammer. That's nah, impossible. Damn. What's this glass made of anyway? Glass? Alright, let's go. Reset. Let us do this. Rip. Bell piss. Let's reset that. <laughs> Maybe I done goofed. Now I have to figure out. Let's see. Perfectly trapped. Now let's do this.
I don't fucking know what I'm doing. Let's reset this. Alright. So, boom. Boom. Alright, hold on. Let's try the other one out. Okay. Much easier puzzle this time. <laughs> okay. We got one side because it makes me feel smarter to just get one done. I don't know, man. I'm trying something out. All right. I got it. My brain, you were right, by the way. Jim and I. <sighs> Do what crazy shit we get now. Things the size of a fucking Hoover. Examine. Handle for a large driver. Tip is pointed, we can't use it unless we attach something to it. I forget that I no longer have the hammer equipped. My bad.
Now I can get that guy. Large driver. Oh, hey. Ah, piss. All right, so. Attach the hammer! So I have another sliding puzzle now. Yay. These are the hardest ones in the room? No, don't tell me that. This, this is actually turning out pretty well right now. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. All right. Oh, that was sarcasm. That was sarcasm. I, I'm learning. Alright, the right side is done. Open. Picture is... Is that a zero doll? No. Okay. Just thinking we were going, uh... Lagomorph, you know, the bunny one. Become me. Alright. That's not creepy at all. Plus... I'm picking up what you're putting down, game. Could you help me, Eric? Aha, there it goes. Perfect fit. Good job. Now let's see if we can move it. Okay. <laughs> you know what? It wouldn't be the worst fate. Reset that. How, how do you do this? So, do we have a hint that I missed? I'm assuming that. get a certain amount of attempts oh if you just hit negative it's game over okay so 
I really don't know what's going on. Yeah, I think so. And if that is the case, I'm a fucking genius. Yeah, it worked, and now... Okay. Good. Green. The green lines on the floor all match up. Ah. Oh, boy. This is an exciting sliding puzzle, because I get a gun. Why do they always end up with gum? Like, this party just seems to be, like, doomed to blow each other apart. Thank you, M. Tigress. I will indeed have fun. Wow, there are so many colors that I can see from here. Son of a bitch. The monitor slid up. Oh, it must be because we matched everything. Hey, look over there. That Don't tell me that's... Damn, damn it! Making a fool out of me? We'll have to do this puzzle again. Calm down, Eric. These kinds of puzzles get harder the more tense you are. All right. Tension level's down, baby. I know. Of course I know that. I am calm, really. And I've done it so many times already. You did? I did all the puzzles. Yeah, sure, fuck it. Run this down. done. Now I'm closer to getting the gun. Never something you want to have your caretaker say. Uh, this puzzle's pretty hard. I'm sure you can do it. It's easy for you, right? Open it and let's get the shotgun. Easy, you say? Uh, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Because violence isn't always the answer. But boy, is it sure fun. This one may take me a couple tries. 
It feels... I had to test that out somehow. Yeah, let me reset that real fast. Where is everybody? <laughs> Never a truer statement, man. Puzzles make me angerous. Uh... Progress, slowly but surely. So close. Tetris. No. I did something wrong. <laughs> okay. Boom. Reset. <laughs> All right. Well, I know this is incredibly thrilling for all involved. The slow breaking of a mind. All right. Let's get down to business.
Yeah, it's just you gotta kind of figure them out, unfortunately. Okay. So. Uh, I. That again. Yeah, I'm I'm having that other one was fucking cake. This is actually hurting my brain somewhat. Let's alright. This is a good start because it frees up a lot of shit. Basically I think everything kind of has to cycle out somewhat. And then, not giving myself enough. The way I can describe it is that you know the two blue pieces and the one C-shaped purple are large enough to take up enough vertical space that they have to touch the top bottom walls. Yes. Yes. I am working on that as we... Temporary, of course. That is not a solution, but we are approaching something beautiful, I think. Oh, 
Nope, <laughs> that's not the winner. Uh. You are correct. Well, there went my headphones. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> yes, it worked. All right, good job. I knew you could do it. Who finally got the two locks off. That was so hard. Yeah, buddy. You're telling me. That's fair. That's fair. Plus, I mean... You... Oh. <laughs> now the shotgun is mine. Only if I collect it from the wall. All right, Eric, I know you're happy, but don't swing it around like that. All right. Let's shoot. That was scary. You didn't even think about the ricochet. The only thing I can trust right now are myself and this big gun. Hell yeah, brother. <sighs> Tell him it's not a shotgun, it's a vape. <coughs> oh boy. You know how much I love buttons. Haha, <laughs> the stupid glass couldn't stand the power of this gun. I'm just glad the button is safe. So now what? Are we going to push it? Who knows what it does, but we can't stand around doing nothing, right? We have to find Mira. She could be in a whole lot more trouble than us. The fuck? Oh, I never looked at the fucking portrait after I swung the whole wall around. That's my fault. I was going to look at that portrait. And I just remembered it. Oh. Don't think Mira. she made it. Mira. <laughs> but who's in the other pods? <laughs> what? Is this an electronic key? <laughs> she had the key to his heart. And it's a knife. There are marks on her neck. Mira must have been strangled. I mean, you'd think death would be the darkest tone this thing has, but no, no, layers. Tons of layers. Oh, boy. Dad. Daddy, he's the bad one. He, he said to do it. He said to do it. I'm not qualified to handle these to the topics. 
put Chris's body in the lake. Oh no, no, I must keep smiling, keep smiling, keep smiling. And he has a shotgun. Hey, Eric, look. I can't. I'm having a mental break. <laughs> I'm busy freaking the fuck out. No, no. It can't be. Junpei? Yeah, buddy. The darkest timeline. <laughs> God, remember when we killed all of our friends? I'm not gonna repeat that, but it is funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Hell yeah, he did. He must have killed Junpei too. Now announcing the current casualties. C team, Akane, Junpei. Q team, Mira. D team, Dai. I'm sure I'll still be killing people when you get back. These six are now deceased. All right, well, let's get As the Wait, who'd they call a virgin? Yeah. Eric's okay. still alive. Get out. What was that? Did I just hear you say yes? Uh, no. Six people died! And you... I get it now. So that's it. You teamed up with Carlos, didn't you? Yes. What? Take his life. Probably because of the vote at 1330. Yes. Carlos knew that it happened. And then Carlos took care of Junpei and Akane. While you killed Mira here. No. With my no. child hands. That brings the number dead to six. So that's why you did all that to get out of the shelter. B but I... Ah! Wait, wait! Child murder! <laughs> I don't know why. We're learning a lot about ourselves today. <laughs> you gonna find out this kid's jacked? Punching them codes. The passwords. The X passes are. Shit, I don't what know. Are you doing? <laughs> I don't think I'll get a punch him in. Unless Carlos axes him. Yeah, buddy. That's a bad ending. Wait, Eric. I didn't kill Mira. You didn't? Of, of course I didn't. I could, I could never do some... Then tell me who did it. 
Tell me the killer's name. But I... 20 seconds. That's all I'm giving you. You better tell me the truth. I... I don't like liars. Yeah, tell me the name. Now, tell me. Who killed Mira? 19? 18? What? Uh... I mean, fuck it. <coughs> no one from Ward C is here! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... Goddamn. <laughs> Why? Don't suppose that's bulletproof, huh, bud? Well. That happened. And now this is going to happen. Hello, everybody. I need 30 seconds to relieve myself. I'll be right back. Uh, here, I'll... I'll save. Yes. Okay. There's no menu music. Never mind. No worries. Uh, check out the America clip. <laughs> I'll be back probably before that's done playing. If you... It just happened to look at it. I even washed my hands, you savages. <laughs> All right, back to it. I was hoping he was going to give me a name because I don't trust him. But we have two more routes to go with these guys. We got so much to learn. Ah, nothing new there. Okay. Got a lot of news. He still has all of his arms. Something tells me I need to fix that fairly soon. You know what? I'll take one more path of the most nobody's favorite group. Oh, and we got some branches here. Sweet. Wait. Go back. Is there...
You know what? We'll have to figure that one out later. I don't have a name. I could just say zero. Ooh. Do I want to run it back and see if zero works as an answer? Yeah, I get to watch the kid die again anyway, so fuck it. Why not? <laughs> I'm a sick man. Yep. Let's do it. See if it works. Hmm, I see. Zero. I should have said it was the dog. I guess that's true. In an overall sort of way. But you're the one who did it personally. Ah. Uh. America, fuck yeah. Why? Well, but that oh. didn't work out. <laughs> yes, yeah, save data. Back. Let me see if that opened up anything. No, I, I still. Yeah. We'll do this one. Then we'll jump and finish up what we have open for Sigma. Oh boy. That never ends well. Huh? Why? No, it won't even budge. Also, who dresses their children like this? Like, for real. Like, on purpose and stuff. Formaldehyde solution with... A pig. It's okay, Mira. I'm right here with you. <sighs> well, okay. You're in the bio lab, right? So, so there's a, there's a problem that I have. Here. Jeez, this place I figured is really out creepy. why is something like this in a bomb the anagram for the first the Maybe second game the builders thought to be prepared Delta's water for virus kind of pandemic pandemic and guess what word pops up in the anagram for the new one on a global scale it's like a sudden deadly virus outbreak Delta Maybe this place is I haven't, an I've only got Delta for researching all kinds of viruses like that oh okay I think Delta Pardon might be an answer to something. Here in order to do something I mean, it's got to be kind of important, like right? What? Like maybe taking the ingredients and cooking all of us a nice meal. Ugh. Um, but isn't it uh, too early for dinner? It's been four and a half hours since we fell asleep in the lounge. Four and a half hours. Perfect time to start eating. Out for quite a while. No, not necessarily. We could have woken up a bunch of times during all that, but if Zero erased our memories? Of course, we wouldn't remember. No. What's this? Slash the Slash pig's the stomach. Slash the pig's stomach. Whoa, for real? Would that mean that we... Probably. Why? Why do we have to do something like that? <laughs> I have no idea, but it's not like we right. really have a choice, do we? There's no way to leave. We're just gonna have to do what he said. That's what you'd like, isn't it? Zero. <laughs> I might actually be pissed if it turns out that... Well, to be fair, guns. Gotta get all personal with a knife. All right, gonna have to use two hands to do this. What do we got here? Big pillow. Uh. 
<laughs> yes, sir. Oh, hey, piece of paper. Looks like researchers know this. They must have been doing research on cells. I know, it's telling us to look at the cells in the microscope. Okay. <laughs> Careful examination of the green and pink liquid reveals two different cell structures. Separating the liquids results in different colors. One thing is clear after inspecting the separated liquids under the microscope. The cell structure is unique for each color. Good to know. Uh... Alright. <laughs> Let the game begin. What is this? Uh, that's one of those Simon says is I'm not ready for that yet. Uh, let's... <laughs> okay, root seahorse butterfly penguin. Maybe if we grab the pig one. I still think this pig is the one, but the big question is how do we get it out? Okay. This is it. Time to prove I'm a man. Yeah, ow my hand. Wait, not even a crack. Yeah. Why does it bother you that I keep glancing over in this general direction? I mean, there was a point where I just had chat up on my phone and then would put it here, but then nobody talked to me. So that was super depressing. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it made me sad. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, back to the game. Yes, but definitely. Please, teach me. Okay, so let's go back over to... What's this? Why is only one piece of the model red? fell out and I barely touched it, I swear. Did I break it? Maybe you can use it for something. Take it. Hey, remember that shape. It's a heptagon. We can use it with something. Flash the pig stomach. Do I actually get to look through the... Oh, there's nothing in this. Okay. There's a mic microwave. Sounds good. We'll, we'll hop on Discord and we'll figure it out and I'll I'll be smart. A suspicious liquid. It won't explode if we mix it, will it? I don't like mad scientists do, right? Well that's an old-fashioned reference. Because he's not a child, he is a very old Benjamin Buttony man. Examine. A green liquid. I know there's a drink called... Uh, shit. I guess we'll try. Oh yeah, let me uh... Hey, uh, Gemini, do me a favor. Uh, shoot me a whisper with a link to that, um... clip you made and I'll upload that after... If... 
If I watch it, and it's actually kind of funny, I'll upload it on YouTube tonight. We gotta start building a repertoire. A green liquid. I know there's a drink called Aljiru, maybe, in Japan. That's green like this. I'm sure he's got a name from an old way of calling vegetables green plant. It tastes super bad. How do you know stuff like that? Just who are you, really? Let's see. My thi- oh. Sweet. Hey, man. I'll upload it to YouTube Shorts and we'll hope for the fucking best. It's pink liquid. It's so bright. A popular color in nail salons. Okay. So you guys are offering nothing. What this? Okay, analyzer. Computer that's gonna turn on randomly whenever it's angry at me. What this? This piece from the model. Doesn't it have a hole the same shape as the screws? I think we can unscrew with this. Oh, thank God they didn't make me do that shit over and over again. Yes, the cover's off. <coughs> well, hello there. How are you? I feel fucking drive by, man. I'm just excited because I didn't have to unscrew each one individually. It did the work for me. And it has orange. Someone drew it. Looks like there's some meaning to them. Maybe I would have known before I lost my memories. Okay. Got a lot of tools. I wonder what they're for. I don't think anything here is useful. Let's leave them then. Who knows what would happen if we moved them? You see, set the dial to, dial to A to mix the liquid. Set the dial to B to separate the liquid. This must be the manual for the centrifuge. Oh, they just read it out. This device is used to mix and separate liquid. Place two test tubes with liquid into the machine. The centrifuge will mix them and output the mixture into one beaker. Place one beaker with liquid into the machine. The centrifuge will separate the liquid into two test tubes. Sweet. Oh. That's why I said it felt like a drive-by, man. I was genuinely actually kind of excited. Test tubes. Sink. Oh boy. Now I'm concerned. I'm in a room with a. There's a sink on this thing. Hey, look, I found this in there. The knife looks pretty sharp. Maybe we can use it to cut open the pig's stomach. Yay. Let's just not let Mira have that. What with her? All right, let's see. Where's that piggy pillow? It's time to die. Salish. All right, I'm gonna do it. Ready? Looks like there's a bunch of things inside. Let's take all of them. File on fanatic bio R. The incubation period for this virus is extremely short. Mortality rate is 100%. Fuck me. Symptoms include blood erupting from the body, then death. Shit. Sweet. Microsoft. 
Yeah, we know what that is. Sweet. Power cord. Paper. Fanatic bio R. Never heard of it. Suspicious ass quiet kid. I think we can use this now. Oh, I don't have anything to... Alright, what did I need that had a power cord missing? Ah, this didn't have a power cord. Oh. Oh, the power turned on. But we can't use it yet. It looks like it's on standby mode right now. The cover over there opened. What could that be? There's a thin hole on the side here. Maybe it'll turn on if we stick something in. Something thin and long. Huh? I think the knife will fit in this hole. Let's see. Hey, it fits perfectly. Yes, the analyzer's on. I can't believe using a knife for a lever actually worked. Me neither. And if we take the knife out, we can still use it. Oops. The blade broke off inside. Now it's useless as a knife. Idiot, look what you did. Damn it, how are we going to cut the pig open now? Sorry, I, I didn't mean to pull so hard. Ah, damn it, it's all over. Zero's going to kill us all now. What's done is done. The analyzer's still on. At least we can find another way. This thing will analyze liquids, right? Yep, shows results if you put three dishes in of liquid inside. Let's do that and see what happens. Okay. Let's see if I can just pour this shit in there. I, I don't know if I need test tubes, though. Big. And the beaker's in place, let's start the separating process. Oh, okay, sweet. We just have those. Looks like they cleanly separated. Blue liquid. I thought blue blood ran, ran through veins when I was little. But you found out it didn't, huh? It's a yellow liquid. Lemonade? Are you serious? It's piss. And the beak is in place. Let's start the separating process. Yeah. It's a red liquid. Kind of looks like blood. I'm not so sure about this. Oh. Oh, boy. Uh, guys, <laughs> what are we doing? It's in a jar. <laughs> it's a white liquid. Uh. Oh, thank God. They pivoted hard. Good job. We dodged one, guys. Do you really grow taller when you drink a lot of milk? Uh, let's make sure no one tries to drink this accidentally, okay? See if I can just. Huh. All of the cells in the white liquid are by themselves. Okay. Yellow liquid cells are in groups of five.
the cells in the blue liquid attached together in two. Yeah, buddy. Go. Uh, which one? Okay. Hey, bet. Did not mean to do that. Okay. Four buttons, each a different color. This might be... Yeah. Because the number of times they're together. So, by itself... Um... Hey, it's unlocked. Good job. Pretty amazing for a kid your age. Uh, I won't lose next time. What's this box? Huh? Transparent specimens? I think we can fit all of these in the box. Let's find out. This one feels like it should be easier than the other, but... not telling me no for overlapping them. Okay. It... It told me no. <laughs> Change places! Okay.
I'm fucking brilliant. What do we need these for? Are we supposed to take them? I don't really like capsule pills. They have to be cherry flavored. Eric, you aren't still taking children's cough syrup, are you? Oh boy. These capsules. He's not telling us we have to take them, is he? Maybe we mix them with something, they'll give us a clue. These are pills I wouldn't want to take. Alright. Well, somebody got pissed at those lockers. They're all beat the fuck up. Have I messed with this thing yet? Okay. What's this thing? The UV irradiator. Used mostly for drying and strengthening adhesive materials. Though not for toasting your skin to a beautiful tan, then. Alright. Oh, this thing will fit in there? A centrifuge cover? Huh? Well, we can try it at least. Reveal your secrets. Letters appeared on the cover. Okay, I can do that. Sweet. Looks like it's fully mixed. Orange. Okay, orange. Blue. Not sure if the order matters. Yes, let's get rid of this for good, please. Mm. Oh, sweet. Fucking fetus. What the fuck? All right. Ah. Yay, we did it. No matter how bad the situation is, solving a problem always cheers you up. Huh? There's something in there. Yeah, let me have it. It's a specimen cylinder. Looks like there's a human fetus inside. A fetus? A fetus? What's wrong? Are you turning your head away like that? <laughs> Baby in a jar. All right. I don't think it died. I think it died before birth. Oh, I always think too much about these kinds of things, and then I get all sad. Are you crying? You're crying. Okay, so burb, fish, bug, plant, person. Simple enough. Hey, a perfect fit, but nothing's happening. Maybe the decisions are wrong. All right, yeah, let me. Herb, fish, plant. Oh, this is the only one that can't move. Oh, 
the fuck? Was it not? secret for me. What are these symbols? Five symbols with five color... Oh, okay. Okay, so... Fish, blue man. Hey, there we go. Red plant. Gotcha. <laughs> no, it's nothing. I know it too, of course. I notice. Wait before. Don't ignore me. Some kind of machine came out. A fingerprint authentication device. Do we have proof of our identities now? What if the exit opens if we do it? Let's just try it out. Oh, that hurt. What the? I thought it just wanted a fingerprint. But what is this? Some sort of trap? Damn it, I'm bleeding. That hurt. Oh, what's that sound? Maybe we pass the authentication? The light by the sink turned on. Alright. Did anything change? Let's see, the thing, it can move. over there turned on. So that means that one could be moved too. Click. What, what? Now the light's red. Did I do something wrong? Watch out. Get away from there. Exploding pig. Oof. 
Here we go. Oh, that sticks heavy and smells disgusting. Er, Blarg. But why do you move it? Didn't you want to prove you were a man? You can do it, Eric. Kind of hard to cut when you're holding it, huh? Pretty heavy, so I don't think we can. I think the power's on, but it still doesn't work. No water. Digging the scene. Oh! <laughs> Thwap. So the pig's in place now, but how do we cut it open? Thanks to someone, the knife's broken. I moved the thing, so I'm not touching it again. Would you just chill, Eric? Let's look for something to replace the knife. There's a drawer here. This is a scalpel. We can probably use it. Let's take it with us. Go chop of a pig. Pig's all set, and I have the scalpel, but where do I start cutting? Oh, we're crying out. Here, give me the scalpel. There's a trick to it. Yes, there is. Oh, so clean. Does your family own a farm, Mira? Something like that. Now, let's see what inside this thing. He's a bum. Wait, that, that was it? Fucking butterfly effect shit. What is the point of him telling us this story? It's just some kind of act, right? Probably doesn't mean anything. I'm not sure. single virus is toxic, but using the other as a vaccination provides an antidote. Hmm. 
What is he talking about? If I had foreseen that you would all choose to inject radical sex at this moment, I would have made sure to coat FBR on the fingerprint authentication device for you. Meaning, you'd already be infected with the fanatic BioR virus. That device over there? Oh, I do remember feeling something when I touched it. Like a prick. Who are you calling so a prick? So we were all stabbed by a poison needle? On the other hand, if I saw that you were not going to inject yourselves with radical sex, then I would be sure to leave the needle clean. That way, you would not become infected with fanatic power. Wait, what? What are you saying? I'll say it once more. If all of you plan to inject yourselves with radical sex, you already have an FBI. If you are not going to inject yourselves, then you are not infected right now. Which means, in either case, you being saved is a foregone conclusion. There's no reason for you to worry about the situation. What will you do now? Inject yourselves with radical sex? Or refrain? It would be best to consider it. Okay. I will say that your decision Well. So wait, do we even need to choose? I suppose not. Huh? If what Zero told us is the truth, then the outcome will be the same. If we inject ourselves with this radical six, we're already infected with FBR. So they destroy each other and we're fine. And if we don't do it, that just means we weren't infected with FBR in the first place. But what if it's a lie? Huh? He's saying what if he's lying about being psychic? Well, if you think about it, the likelihood that he's lying is incredibly high. So then, what do we do? What the hell do we do? Hmm. Into our dicks. Uh Don't inject. We don't inject. No, thank you. Maybe you, we shouldn't. Yeah, right? Care to share your reason? After everything, the issue isn't if Zero can see the future or if he's lying. It's just like Eric said, <coughs> if Zero does have that power, <coughs> then it's the same either way. That means all we have to do is think about what happens if he doesn't have powers. The important thing to determine is if we're actually infected with everyone. So you don't think we are then? No. In fact, a virus called Fanatic Bio R existing in the first place is very suspicious. Radical 6 sounds just as fantastical. No, there's no doubt that Radical Six is real. I've heard of it before. Well, mm. it could be that Zero wants us to become infected with Radical Six. But instead of doing it himself, for some reason, he's unable to. So he needs us to do it ourselves, then. Hey, what the? The door. It opened. Let's get out of here. If we're too slow, then the door might up and close on us. Wait, Eric. Leave it behind. <laughs> hey, Mira, what are you doing? Just serial killer things. Must have been right not to inject it. I still feel okay, and more importantly, the door opened for us. There's still another possibility, you know. That Zero really does have the ability to see the future. If it's true, then we would have been right if we had injected the needles too. 
Hey, did you tell the truth earlier? About what? About Radical Six being real. Oh, um, yeah. How do you know about it? Yeah, little well, shit. I'm not sure. Did you get any more suspicious? I know what I know, okay? I can't help that. So why not share? Tell us more about this Radical Six virus. More. I'm not even sure where to start. How about its name? Oh, that's easy. Aside from triggering intense suicidal impulses, Radical Six causes the infective's thought process to reduce by one root six. Therefore, when one second passes for them, the world has gone through root six seconds, or roughly 2.45 seconds. There is also the word radical. Aside from meaning things like extreme, it can also refer to a radical root. Get it? Yeah, I don't trust a oh, child who knows this information. But is it really possible for thought speed to be slowed down like that? Also, he knows about yep. a disease that nobody else knows about. Through changes in DNA methylation and histone modification, gain epigenetic mutations in the control mechanisms of their genetic expressions. Uh, wait! Could you maybe simplify that, please? Please, yes. Oh, the body's composition changes as a genetic switch is flipped, more or less. A genetic... Switch? Huh. Uh, let's try this. A, a common scientific thought, until now, was that parental characteristics didn't transfer. Recent research has changed that. We now know that they can be, by flipping certain genetic switches. Well, regardless of what kind of experiences the parents had to go through, their DNA blueprints... Ted talked the game. But within that expansive DNA coding, the question of what should be read seems to change based on experience. The change becomes especially apparent when the parents' lives are in danger. Like maybe if someone was trapped in a shelter and forced to risk their life. So, if Eric and I did the horizontal tango right now, the baby might end up psychic. What? <laughs> anyway, so if Radical Six really does oh boy. the genetic switch... Playing with that boy's heart. Literally. Oof. Hey, are you listening? No, uh, he's just picturing yeah. shit in his head. So, you're basically saying this Radical Six virus is super dangerous, right? Yes, there's no doubt it is. So, Zero said earlier that Radical Six transmits through bodily fluids and is highly infectious. If someone infected with the virus was. I mean, if he can keep his fucking head attached then, to his neck. Then. Mankind, six billion people, will die. Six billion? Hell yeah. is dead it's obviously because of the vote the vote at 1330 mm. then but wait did everyone from C team really die we yeah. haven't seen their corpses or anything they might still be alive no they're dead I'm sure of it because you Why? planned it because He's right. I don't think they're alive. You too, Mira? Uh. What do you think, old man? C-Team's gotta be alive, <laughs> right? What are you doing, Eric? <laughs> He's not gonna answer you. Hey, you don't know. Maybe he... Yes. Can speak? They're dead. 
That would be him. Now it is time for you to sleep. Zero. When next you wake, know you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> A little upset that when he collapses to the ground, you don't hear a thunk. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can rip off Sigma's arms. Which one looks like less arms, Sigma? Probably this one. I got a feeling. <laughs> yes. Oh boy. Hell of a name. Are these things robots? Yeah. They're not as good as the ones I, I make back you? home. I doubt they're model toys. Hey! Hello? He's not very friendly. It's probably just out of power. Still. Why would these things be in this room? Looking around, I'd say they were being made here. Made? Yeah. Zero's probably manufacturing them. It does say this room is manufacturing on the map. Uh, um, Sigma. Why did you get quiet all of a sudden? Is your oh, robot in the no future? Reason. I just membrane. Damn. It's locked. Guess we're trapped in here. Again? Again? Diana, what time is it? It's 1810. There's no use wasting time in a place like this. Let's just find some way out of here. Okay, let's go. All right. TK way out. Yay. I bolt on deck. Pretty cool looking robots there. Says cut Charlie. Hey, look, this is some kind of blueprint. Gummy color red, blue, white, close now, surveillance, on the circuit. Looks like some kind of tool. A taser. Oh, why would that be here? Let's just examine this. I gotta see what's said. I think this is a stun gun. Yeah, but we can't tell how much power it has. Maybe we should try it out. Ah, uh, stop. Don't point that thing at me. Handwritten note. Oh, what does it say? Far from the left, four right, one left, two. Four right, one left, two left. Four right. Okay, boot up. What in the? Gotcha. Oh, I wrote it down, so. Cut Betty on it. Okay. What 
wire cutters. Machine tool for drilling holes in metal. Oh, there's something here. Fine. White, red, blue. Alex, Betty, Charlie. High volt contactor. Is there any way to run electricity through it? How about using the stun gun? I thought of that. Who knows if it'll work? Let's give it a shot. will work. Huh. Look like the robots are powering up. <laughs> well, all three of them are activated now. They're in strange poses. Well, I'll just hope they don't try to hurt us. Okay, it started up fine. Pleasure to meet you. I am Alex. What's wrong with it? Is it broken? Maybe it's simply an older model. Hey, hey, Betty. I am Betty. Hey, 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 hey. Nice to meet you all. Hooray. Look at this one. It's strangely super hyper. No, no, no. Anger. Put down. Set timer to zero seconds, please. I think it's angry. Set the timer to zero seconds. What does it mean? Well met. My name is Charlie, and I'm only saying this once, so listen up. More fluent than I expected. It's so human. His tone of voice could use some work. What's the staring? Could you be any ruder, human? Okay. Okay. Don't think I haven't messed with yet. Oh, there's something written on it. Contact between red and blue balls will result in immediately powerful explosion. Set the timer with the buttons above. I think this is a warning. 
Explode just from when blue ball's touching. We better keep our distance. The button that sets the time. Betty said set the timer to zero seconds. Eh, why not? Wait, are we actually doing what it said? Zero could be controlling it. But we don't have any other clues. Yeah. We don't know what will happen. True, only God knows. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna set it to zero seconds. I have a feeling that this is bad. The detonator box. Betty has activated the timer inside the box just now. The ignition signal will transmit in five minutes. Five minutes? Damn it, I knew it. I should have never listened to that robot. It can be disarmed if you choose. You only have to cut the correct wires inside. Don't pick the wrong one. The hints to the right wires should be left by the designer. So only have to pull out, cut the correct wires in the detonation box. Cut Charlie, cut Betty. Uh, Betty is... Okay. Oh, God. Oh, you know what? If the balls collide, they'll explode. We need to make sure they don't. collision somehow. I'll admit I was worried. So this thing starts moving if we fail to disarm the box. Seems like it. We need more cautious. Minus the whole snipping the wrong wire. Oh boy, more stuff. Okay, the cover's off. I knew it. Blueprints and notes were clues to disarming this. Damn. But that's what they meant. If only we'd noticed earlier. There's still something inside the detonator box. Let's not make another mistake. Not oh, what the... Is that thing staring at me? An old model. Maybe he feels an affinity. Please, take this. Just robot poop. box isn't completely disarmed yet. We need to check inside. Not a fuse this time. It's hammers and a pendulum. No. No, no, no. Not today, sir.
I love lamp. I drink your milkshake. I am Spartacus Geromino. He <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with this thing. When did it move there? We don't have time for this right now. We have to disarm this box first. But right. correct choice. Now we only have to take off the screws. Let's show something in the back of this box. We're not out of this yet, huh? Yeah, let's hurry. We don't have much time. Nobody put baby in a corner, corner. Here's Johnny. I'm the doctor. Who, who, ah, time. Uh, hey, that thing just moved again. It doesn't look like that robot's going to do something. We have to focus. We have more to disarm. You have one less wire to cut, and you know the rest are dummies, and will explode when cut. What? What's he saying so suddenly? Cut the timer wire. The one with the oldest memory has the answer to which one it is. He said cut Betty. Is this really the right one? If I'm right, then the red wire should. Here I go. What you get, Petty? Trying to fuck with me. We're taking Alex all the way out of here. Alex the robot. <sighs> Seems like it went all right. But we killed a robot. Let's go. We've been in this creepy We're still room murderers. Where's Gab? I don't see him. Plotting the next puzzle. Off to another ward? I'll go and check in the prep room. Why there? Whoa. He could be coming through the air vent. Sigma, did those robots cause you to remember something? The robots? The ones we saw when we were in manufacturing. You started acting so strange after we entered that room. It reminded me of you. <laughs> I've made a few before in the past. You made robots? Well, I mean, all I really made was the outer appearance and the AI. The frame was built somewhere else. Mm. Why did you make them? It's a long story. Let's just say that it was vital to the completion of my plan. No, maybe that's not quite true. It could have just been my cover to tell the truth. 
I was simply lonely. I spent several decades of my life alone, in the middle of a desolate desert. I lived in a facility built deep underground, much like this shelter is. Sometimes an acquaintance stopped by, but that was it. No calls or even emails. It was a place of complete and utter quiet. No Sad. Wind, no wind. Just a buzz that echoed in my ears constantly. Sounds pretty rough. Still, it wasn't as if I was all alone at the start. Someone was there to help me for a short while after I started living at the facility. A woman. She was very lovely, kind and gentle. Her name was, well, let's just call her Dee. Dee and I, we lived together for three years. We spent the time researching genetics and studying various subjects like quantum mechanics, cosmology, biochemistry, and artificial intelligence. But... The woman passed away. Why? The facility's environment was very particular. To be brief, it had weak gravity. As a result, an illness developed within her circulatory system. My grief overwhelmed me. Two, three years passed, and, and the pain was as fresh as ever. Damn. We find out Sigma's just all over the place with who he's hooking up with. As best I could. I made her thought patterns match as close as possible. I spent 25 years completing her. And of course, it was impossible to perfectly replicate everything about D. But still, she ended up pretty close. For a robot. I named her Luna. Luna was very devoted to me. I also found that I truly loved her. That's not creepy at all. Not as a woman, but more like a daughter. Do you hate me? No, I'd never. I'm just really confused. <laughs> I'm gonna make you. <laughs> Sigma, how old are you? I'm 67. No. You must be joking. Hey, Diana, Sigma, come here. What is it? I've come up with a plan. Plan? A plan. Would you bring out the map, Diana? What's beyond the decontamination room? The hall for the elevator. So that would mean? If we open this door, we can get out of here? But how would we get it open? It's welded shut. Nothing less than a bomb would manage to dent it. Then, let's use one. What? Let's just use a bomb, and boom, the door will be blown away. Wait, I like her line of thinking. Let's just explode shit. It did free up the bomb. Self? Men lift the heavy stuff. It's been the way of things since olden times. I'm the old one. But your body's 22, right? Yeah. Just Don't so forget upset to about be it. careful moving it, okay? If Fucking those two balls it. touch early, we're goners. Diana and I won't have a way out anymore. Your concern for me is touching. Okay. Let's go, Diana. 
Oh, um, okay. Real? Why is she grabbing the fucking stun gun? Phew. All set to go. Congratulations. Who the hell made you head honcho? Call me Boss Fi. When did you get so high and mighty? Since birth. Parents must have been real characters. Please, you two. Five minutes, huh? Five minutes is plenty of time to get enough distance. All right. I'm gonna push the button now. Are you all ready? Yeah. Ready when you are. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. What happens next? She has a stun gun. I don't know what the fuck she's planning. At least I think she has a stun gun. I think this is far enough. How much time is left? I'd say four minutes, thirty sec. No, twenty seconds. Team is just not a lucky team. No. How? Neither is the Q team, but fuck Q team. What? You forgot? Diana picked C team during the vote at 1330. Wait, what are you saying? Diana chose to vote for Q team. Isn't that right? I. I honestly don't remember that far back. Are you trying to pull? Did you really believe that I wouldn't notice? Zero. What you're doing right now was considered a rule infraction. You are not allowed to leave by means other than the X door. That is one of the gate rules. We never heard that rule before. As such, I decided I must break the rules as well. Q team is on the other side of the decontamination room at this moment. They lie unconscious from being injected with the anesthetic in their bracelets. Just so you know, the bomb you activated is really quite powerful. It's true that if it detonates, a door in the decontamination room will be blasted apart just as you had planned. At the same time, that means the deaths of the oblivious slumbering Q team. Oh no. Shit, I'm gonna let shit go boom. You can stop the timer and save Cutie. Or leave them to die and make your own escape. The choice is yours. I think we're getting out of here, buddy. Good saying. Diana! She's got a stun gun, so if we try to stop her, she's gonna tase the shit out of us. Man, fuck that kid and fuck that serial killer. What the hell was that? And that's him. I think it's liquid hydrogen fluoride or hydrofluoric acid. The hydrofluoric acid? It's a powerful acid that can even melt glass or metal. How do you know that? I know because I just do. It doesn't matter. Damn. It's definitely some kind of acid. There's no way we can get inside. This is... A protective suit. We can go in if we put this on. But there's a Right? Only one. She went from meek to fucking in the fuck charge. I'll do it. No, Diana. But if someone doesn't go in, Q team will then I'll go. No, I won't let you. Stop it. We're already too late. Even if someone gets the suit on, we won't make it in time. Come on. Let's get out of this. There's no other way. What are you saying, Sigma?
<laughs> Run away! <laughs> Don't play sad music for those fuckers. I didn't trust Quark, I don't trust Q. Where's Sigma? He's still in there. Sigma! Sigma! What are you doing? Open this door! I have to do this. What do you mean? You would have tried to hold me back if I said I'd go, right? You lied? You lied like Papa. You both need to get as far away as you can. Stop messing around. You're just gonna die. That's not it. It's just in case. I won't die. I will save everyone in Q team. So. Sigma. Sigma. Every melty piece of Sigma! them. Sigma. Does he have both of his arms? Mm hmm. <laughs> no. All right. Um. Found out how he lost his arms there, Norman. Sigma, Sigma, hang on. Oh my God. We, we need to get him medical attention. I'll go check the other room. He just needs more arms. Go rip some robo arms off now and get to it. No. Please no. Damn it. Why? They just might have that design. I'm still calling Benjamin Button. Hey, are you all right? Why? Where are the others? I see. They're all dead. I'll be joining them soon. Zero told us. It was you, wasn't it? You set the bomb. That's okay. You deserve something nice in return. What? What did you just inject me with? Maybe you've heard of it. That virus. Oh shit. Well, now everything's going full circle. If someone infected with the virus was to go outside, then mankind, six billion people, will die. What did you? Well, do you?
The fuck? No. Uh, uh, who knew this would happen? My body like this. Thai injected with Radical Six. Everything points to a single truth. What truth? It seems this history is the one that connects to that future. Well, I guess for Phi, it would be the past. Diana, you must not use this lift. What are you saying? We need to get you to a hospital as soon as possible, or... Don't worry about me. No, the two of you need to get out of here. I am the only one who should stay. There's no point. The rescue team will eventually show up if Diana and I get to the surface. And you know, they'll come down and get you too. Then, kill me. Kill me and burn my remains. Now! Damn. Fi. I really like Fi. No other way. That's the only way to keep the virus from spreading. Kind of a thing for me, I guess. Come on, hurry. Six billion lives are on the line. I, I can't. There's no way I can't do that. But I can taste the shit out of you. The Harbinger of Destruction is a woman in a cardigan. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? What is going on? This is Control. I repeat, this is Control. Please come in. I'm asking you to respond. This is Diana. Oh, thank God. You really had me worried there. What happened? Six of us are... dead. What? Counting myself, there are only three left. How... why are... They were killed. Is this technically the true ending? I guess you could say I killed them. No. No, that's not quite right. Not just them. Not just these six. All of them. All six billion. Soon, I will have killed six billion people. Suppose this was meant to be. Let's put our hope in the next Sigma. <laughs> the me who will return here from the future. Damn. Oh shit. That's right. Damn. Well, that's crazy as shit. Well, fuck. 
<laughs> time is it? It's 10.47. We can squeeze some more in. Let me go, uh... Grab a food. And a tinkle. And we'll get right back into it. Yeah. It's good shit. Alright, be right back. So, so this is a thing that exists. Yeah, let's see if this. It is celebration edition pride ice cream. <laughs> I've never in my life seen this. It looks like it's going to be dinner. But. Hey, I'll tell you what gay tastes like. It's. It's apparently. White chocolate flavored ice cream with brownies and cherries. But first. Salad. And more game. Oh, don't say that, man. It doesn't taste salty. <laughs> okay, back. I want to go right back into that. Oh, wait. Because there was a choice here. 
And I just want to don't run. Okay. Just holding a salad in one hand while I don't run. There we go. I'm sorry about this, Sigma. Diana, you... Fi, I have a request. Take Sigma to the surface. I can't. So you're saying you can't do it? Then I have no choice. Wait, what are you doing? This. Damn it. Oh shit. Man, Gemini, you fucked me all up. Because I made a sal salad. I sprinkled some Tonys on it. And now all I can remember is you saying it probably tastes salty. And now I'm just fucked up. Okay, all sections cleared. Wait. Every salty bite. Just there. All right. Let's see. Ah, my, my favorite people. The best part about this game is until it becomes a puzzle, first come, first saved. Let us out! Let us out of here! How long are you planning on doing that? Bang all you want, it won't open. <sighs> Damn it. Just take a second, calm down. We need cool heads. Hey! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you know what that button does? Well, no, but... Maybe the door opens with it. I I really wasn't going to push it though. <sighs> Kids are a pain. But he could have a very good point. We haven't heard anything from Zero. Just sitting around here is useless. Maybe just one tiny push. Hey, Mira. Just kidding. I'm not that reckless. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. But we really don't know much at all. We may be at the point of crazy decisions. The only thing we know for sure is what time it is. 18.08. It must have been around 13.30 when we fell asleep in the lounge. So, uh... Four and a half hours? Wow, you calculated that fast. And at your age, even. <laughs> was it good? I was just about to say the same thing. Seems you still have that problem with numbers, Eric. I recall you having trouble calculating change when we first met. Hey, come on now. Is that how you two met? I want to hear, I want to hear. Yeah, oh God. my face has got to be all red. I still remember every detail. The fateful encounter was on a Monday. The sky that morning in Nebraska was... Full of thick clouds. Nebraska? The bloom cleared in an instant. Like a miracle. 
I always mustered up my best smile for customers. Even the boring regulars I was tired of seeing. I still offered the most delicious ice cream to them. I was getting sick of it, though. Oh, now, don't think it was my work I was unsatisfied with. I really, truly love ice cream. But as the days passed, everything felt hollow. As if there was a hole in my heart. Bro, you are down astronomically. I it was just another normal day. I wasn't expecting the moment it changed. I couldn't believe my eyes. I didn't think such a beautiful sight existed in this world. Oh my god, the feelings that hit me. I never felt anything like that before. That was when I realized this this had to be a miracle. Mira entered my life. She was an angel that looked like a customer. Uh, shouldn't it be the other way? The details aren't important. You look like you don't understand. Well, I don't blame you. I didn't get it either. Mira was just such a vivacious vision of beauty. I was just a lowly ice cream shop employee. Next to that, there was no way I would be a good match. But then Mira... Cut it out. Me, an angel? <laughs> gotta be kidding. I cut but people's hearts true. out. You really are an angel to me, Mira. Bro, this pride ice cream ain't even, like, <laughs> colorful and shit. <laughs> I was really hoping for some hardcore-ass food coloring. <laughs> It's good as fuck, though. Well, earlier you were being. Your face was pretty scary. Did I frighten you that much? Yeah. Oh. Gosh. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay. You were probably just rattled about what's happened to us. I could tell you were a nice person under all that. <laughs> what are you. You're an odd duck. <laughs> Looks like you've gone back to your dopey expression again. I guess you've calmed down, huh? Dopey? Man, you're really harsh, Mira. But yeah, I'm okay now. That's right, I'm fine. I can definitely smile no matter what. Let's turn that back into a frown. Wonder why Zero decided to lock us up in here anyway. Right. Seems like too much effort for it to be just a joke. A lot of money was pumped into this whole thing. Maybe all of this is supposed to be part of the GCOM experiment? They wanted to investigate how a closed space affected change on emotions, right? But then why did they want normal people like us to apply? Hmm. Wouldn't you want people in helpful professions to go to Mars? Yes. Like military officials. Like serial killers. Other skilled professionals like that. Maybe the reason they chose civilian subjects is... ...because... ...they're planning to send those kinds of people to Mars in the future. Hmm. Oh, that sounds right. Strangers living together on Mars for an extended period of time. What kind of problems would that bring? How would the subjects figure out solutions to the resulting troublesome situations? According to the DCOM staff, that's what the experiment was trying to determine. Like the chair-bound old man. They put us in a difficult position on purpose. To observe how we get out. The sponsor is a civilian organization that hopes to expand business worldwide. Maybe they expect to be part of a colonization of Mars in the future. Colonizing Mars? Hey, have you ever heard this before? If you want to transport live koi from Brazil to Japan, putting only koi fish in an aquarium will result in most of them dying. But by adding something to that same container, you won't lose a single one. What is it? A piranha. A piranha? But how does that even work? I guess their self-preservation instincts kick in. I get it. Huh. Fish become so afraid of the piranha that they make an effort to live. That nervous state becomes the power that keeps them alive. 
God, I hope that's actually true. Because that's it. You need that sense of urgency. I see. So for an actual Mars mission, it'd be a good idea to have a murderer on the crew, huh? So far, so good. Now oh, that look. <laughs> Eric, don't say scary things like that. Oh, so maybe all this stuff is something similar. Living quietly in decom becomes boring, so the emotional state will fade. If you intentionally inject a sense of emergency. A little late, perhaps, but I will now announce the voting results. All three groups have voted for different teams. Four, Okay. Don't know why we need a scene change for that. The other two teams are listening to a message just like this one. In their ward's decontamination room. What? The construction of all of them are the same. A yellow button exists on the wall of each. Pressing it activates the showers in the other wards. They will rain down a solution of hydrogen fluoride. No! So, as much as I dislike this group of people, I do love pushing buttons. So, we're going to push a button. Yeah. Oh, we got to hurry or we'll die. Uh, don't worry. We need to trust the others. The others, you say? What the hell do you know? Hey, stop. He's quiet now. I'll leave the rest of this up to you. Huh? It'll be interesting to see how you handle this. Spoken like a what? true serial killer. <laughs> I want to see what you do, little shit. Well. You know, we'll go with the not press the button method first. So I don't have to wait 10 seconds again. Seems like the other teams didn't press it either. I... I am so glad. <sighs> Are we... safe? Who really knows? Mira? <laughs> what? Watch where you're staring! It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the showers would activate as soon as the button was pressed. Which means, you've yet to learn whether the button has been activated by someone or not. What? Then, we'll have to wake up to find out if we're alive or not.
is past 90 minutes. Yes, yes. No! Thud. Boonk. You know, I think I'm going to buy a stream deck so I can program sound effects for fun stuff like that. I don't know what. All right, we got to run it back. Immediately to here. Kill button Q. Yep. And then, of course, we got kill button for Sigma. And then we should have unlocked everything that we have so far. And then maybe new stuff kicks in. Would be nice. I would like to. Oh, yeah. Boop. I really embrace this darkest timeline what shit happened? whenever I do it. I... I... I see. Interesting. Did you push the button? Yeah, I did. Does this mean we're going to be saved? But yes, it does. The others will... You... You killed them! You were gonna do it too, fucker? C-team and D-team are gonna... Melt. No, we did. We had to do this so we could survive. There was no way around it. But... It's not my fault! I told you from the start not to push it! What? You? What are you talking about? It was obvious you were planning on pressing it. But you're the one who actually did! It was your hand! You pushed it! You made a wise decision. You sacrificed the lives of others in order to continue your own survival. Zero. Yes, no blame. I'm sure you would like to get out of your immediate life. But before that, I apologize. But you must all sleep again. Why? Because it's funny. 1929. Because it is hilarious. You left exactly as I commanded. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three again. No. No. I didn't do it. He's the one who pushed it. So yeah, well, easy. here goes Eric snapping again. Lovely. But I already told you. I, I didn't kill anybody. I was only watching. Dad, I was just watching. No. Chris didn't do anything wrong. Oh, yeah. It's I actually one who, very, very fun. It's like, who would want you to forget? Forgive him, Dad. It's cold. It's cold. The water was so, so cold. Pleasant dreams. But. Mom. Are we, are we going to tap into that and, you know, just ask him a few questions about dear old dad later? All right. Mm hmm. Really? Chained up doji. Let us see what comes next. Oh, yeah. Everybody dies. Uh, uh, where are we? I think it's the decontamination room. Decontamination? Uh, I think we've been trapped in this room before. Is it just deja vu? Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. So do I. I hate this button. It's the same for you, Carlos? You feel it as well? Yeah, not just her. I sense it too. 
Somehow, this button is very important. Huh. Maybe we lost our memories of it. The drugs. In the bracelets. Then, what in the world? I'm just eating pride ice cream. To the sounds of beloved characters dying. This is what Sundays are about. Oh yeah. He goes straight up. Saw Final Destination fuck arounds, which I appreciate so thoroughly because it's just you know me. This is the lounge. What happened in the decontamination room? It would be inconvenient if you forgot the cause of the deaths of others. That's right. I... That button. Now Let's get the max passes. The current casualties. C-Team. Carlos. Akane. Junpei. D-Team. Diana. Five, Sigma. These six are now deceased. As a result, six X passes will be revealed. Dream, Key, Quark, Mom, Deer, R. That is all. It's a lie! Everyone, everyone! Uh, uh, yeah! Eric. Oh no. I. What have I done? No need to blame yourself. All you did was make the right choice. <laughs> but. Forget about it. We need to focus on what's next. We have six passwords. So can't we leave? I. Overreacted a, a bit, but you know, maybe it's it's better this way. Oh, now it's better this way. What I mean is, I I know we're all in danger from this game, but instead of being forced to kill each other, it's just a vote and a press of a button. Yeah. Plus, we're just put to sleep after. So to suddenly learn the whole thing is over? Wait, what if it's not just that? The amnesia drugs. In the bracelets. Maybe we didn't get injected this time. But what if every time we wake up, we have to go through the same scenario over and over again? And we're put to sleep after each one. Our memories of it, gone. Give it up. We don't need to talk about this. Let's just get out of here. He's right. Let's... Wait! Are we forgetting someone? The Muppet. That's so mean. Why in the... Let's see if we can get it off. Hey, about before, you were saying we're repeating our actions with no memories. It's like the Sleeping Beauty problem. The Sleeping Beauty what? 
Oh boy. It's one of the famous paradoxes. The experiment starts on a Sunday. The subject is put to sleep. And then a coin is flipped. If it's heads, the subject is woken up on Monday, asked a question, and put to sleep again. And that's it. That's all they do for heads. And if it's tails? They're woken up on Monday, asked a question, and put to sleep. But that's just the same as heads. To that point, it is. But it's different after that. After the subject falls asleep again, their memories from Monday are erased. They are then asked the same question again on Tuesday. What's the question? What was the probability it was heads? That's it? Yep, that's it. Hey, <coughs> how is that a problem then? It's obvious. There's a 50-50 chance of it being heads. You'd think so, normally. Uh, but when you're being asked it, there are three positions you could be in. The coin was heads. It is Monday. The coin was tails. It is Monday. And the coin was tails. It is Tuesday. That would make the probability of it being heads as one in three, right? No. I don't think so. It's a coin, so it'll always be 50-50 odds, no matter what. Okay, let's change some things. If heads appears, it's the same as before. But if it's tails, it ends up repeating 10,000 times. 10,000? Wake, question, sleep, memory erased. Wake, question, sleep, memory erased. Go through this 10,000 times, does the probability still stay as 50-50 after all that? Uh, uh, huh. Thinking about it, wouldn't the chances of it being tails be higher than heads? If you put it that way... Yeah. Yeah. So, w which one is correct? No one knows. They don't have an answer yet. Even the scientists can't decide between one in two and one in three. It's an unsolved problem. Huh. You know a lot about this. I read a random book on it once. Well, it was on metempsychosis, but they deal with basically the same thing. Metempsychosis? Metempsychosis? What is it? Wouldn't waking up without your memories be just like being <coughs> reborn oh yeah that sounds similar uh, huh. I, I'm not really sure you don't believe in it I meant there's no real meaning because when you're reborn all the memories you had during your past life are already gone right well, that means Metempsychosis isn't really needed. If there's no memories, there's no point? Well, no one can perfectly remember things that happened when you were a kid. Hell, sometimes you can't even remember something from a month ago. So, going by what you said, everything you did before a month ago has no meaning? Uh, yeah. huh. She's asking if memories really are that important for making you who you are. Definitely. What is important then? Well, something must be. It's the morphogenetic field. Hmm. Dogs there forever. Well... Looks like we can't do anymore. We're gonna have to give up here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. I didn't mean to start laughing the no second the kids started it. crying. We did everything we could. Come on, 
Let's go. The Muppet will survive, I'm sure. so I can actually do this. Alright. No, wait. Here is one of them. Give to be a piece of I decided that I'd stay here too. I wonder why. Maybe it's because I don't have memories? I know nothing about the outside world, so I guess I didn't really want to leave. Did I make the right choice? Or was it the wrong one? Yeah, I live in a box, man. That's the yeah. right choice. <laughs> that must be it. I just ate a pint of ice cream with a fork. And I'm built different. Hell yeah. Right. Go to Diana's team. Suppose we have the shower. No, oh, no, wait. Yep, now we have the shower scene with them. I guess once everybody doesn't press it, and everybody does press it. Okay. Damn. Won't even budge. Does that mean it's locked? 
Yeah, seems that way. So that means we're trapped, huh? Where are we? The decontamination room. That's how it's labeled on the map. There are showers in here? You need to wash all contaminants off after you return from outside. Well, in the case of nuclear war, of course. Which means there are two exits heading to the surface. Here, and the X door in the lounge. You're right. It looks like there's a hall to an elevator outside. I don't see how they're connected on the map, but it must be there. Okay. Then let's escape through that door. How exactly do you propose that... Looks like it's been welded shut. Maybe it'll open if we push that yellow button over there. Hmm. Did you not just hear that it's welded shut? Then what exactly is it for? Should we try pushing it? It's clearly suspect. Better not. Anesthetic was injected after the vote, around... 13.30. So we've been asleep for almost four and a half hours. Um, that might not be true. Right. Zero did say. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. An anesthetic and an agent will reach your memories will be administered. Means we could have woken up and fallen asleep several times since then. But we just don't remember any of it. Yes. I wonder what the results of the voting are. It's highly unlikely that C Team was able to survive. Why? Did you even have to ask? Diana voted against the plan on the note and chose C Team. Well, wait, hold up. What are you saying? I thought Diana voted for Q Team. Isn't that right? I don't remember. I... Well, I... I don't really remember. What? How is that possible? How could you forget? After the vote at 13.30, he told us we wouldn't be injected with the amnesia meds. Right. I remember it exactly. Diana had chosen to vote for Q-Team. No! I know for sure that she definitely voted for C-Team. Mm. Nonsense. You must be out of it. You're the one out of it, you senile old fart. Hurtful words. No. Wait. Don't tell me. Both have happened. Jumped? Welcome back. What Sigma was going on about back in DCOM? Well, it's all true. Oh, when he was saying mankind would be destroyed? What did he mean exactly? Do you mind explaining? Even if I did, I don't think you'd believe me. It's highly likely you won't even understand. You see, the things Sigma and I have been through are, um, complicated and mysterious. Does that mean your consciousness came from the future? 2074? Yes, but that's not exactly right. Sigma and I both originated from the current world of 2028. Our consciousnesses were sparked by a specific event and to jump forward to 2074. We returned to April 2029, where we lived 45 years normally through time. In January 2074, our two consciousnesses were booted to the past again, and essentially ended up at this point in time, Christmas of 2028. <coughs> See, you don't understand, do you? This is why you don't make a convoluted it story. Have to make sense. You only need to believe us. About what happens in the future? Correct. Exactly destroyed. It isn't as if there aren't any survivors left. But a large number are. Yes, the dead number six billion. It's all because of Radical Six, the horrific virus that affects the human brain. 
It spread quickly worldwide, and humanity began heading to extinction. The location the virus originated at was the experimental facility, DECOM. That was what we were told, anyway. Some of the information appears to be incorrect, though. How so? This is just a guess, but... I think Radical 6 wasn't leaked from DECOM. I've got a feeling it came from this shelter instead. Regardless, back then we believed it all started at DECOM. So we infiltrated the facility as subjects to prevent the release of the virus. With Akane's help. Akane? She's the leader of a secret group called Crash Keys that wants to save the world. Crash Keys, Using huh? the organization's assets, we hacked the admin server and altered the original subject list and data. I... I see. I mean, it all seems so fake. I can hardly keep up with all of it. We're not lying. It's true. <laughs> We're future freedom right, fighters. Then. From the future. I'd like to go back for a second. Hi. You said you jumped earlier, right? Yeah. yeah. Does that mean... A little late, perhaps. But I will now announce the voting results. All three groups have voted for different teams. Four. Okay. So now we get to press a button. Kill everyone. The other two teams are listening to a message just like this one. In their ward's decontamination room. That can't be. The construction of all of them are the same. A yellow button exists on the wall of each. Pressing it activates the showers in the other wards, and they will rain down the solution of hydrogen. What? Hydrofluoric acid? Talent. The answer is talent. Alright, we go good guy, then we go renegade. It is ultimately all up to you to decide. Start pushing all the goddamn buttons. Although nothing good has happened Wait, with me don't. pushing a button. I'm doing it to protect you two. What? It's not to escape. Of course I don't want to kill the other teams. But if we don't act, we're the ones who die. It's not for certain. No one pushes it before three minutes are up. But if we wait all three teams we kill. The acid will melt even our bones, and all that's left will wash down the train! Is that how you want to reunite? To hug and cry together in the train? By then we wouldn't even be able to see or hold them. Wait, wait, Sigma! Please calm down! How could I possibly do that? Someone on another team could be pushing the button right now as we speak. Just listen, please! Zero did say that we had three minutes, but he never said what would happen once the time limit ended. She's right. Three minutes is just a space of time. There's still a chance nothing will happen after the deadline is over. It must mean that we are being tested to see how much we all trust. Please believe, Sigma. Trust I zoned out real hard just now because I've seen this. 
This is the third time. <coughs> I'm not gonna press a button right now. We're gonna let it ride. Three, two, one. No pushy. No, no, no. Nothing's happening. Yeah. See? I told you, didn't I? None of the others pushed the button. So that's proof that the other teams can be trusted to cooperate. Don't you feel like a dick, Sigma? It seems that maybe a misunderstanding, so I shall clear them for you. I never said the shadows were not to it as soon as the button was pressed. Which means, you have yet to learn whether the button has been activated by someone or not. What? Definitely have to go and run it back. Oh, we have a new. But we have to kill everybody. It's only fair. We have to see how this ends. Boom. Let me get my cursor right over that. That shiny yellow button. Yeah. yeah, same here. I don't know. Probably wouldn't hurt that much because all your nerve endings would be burnt out before you had a chance to really feel it. Diana, what did you just... Are you kidding me? You just finished begging me to trust the others. What the hell was all that for? I wanted to murder them. Answer me, Diana! I, I don't know. I don't know why I pushed the button. <laughs> Not again. It was me. What do you mean? Mario. Our vote back at 1330. Diana chose C team instead of going along with what was on the note. I asked her why, and she said the same thing as now. I don't know. That's ridiculous. I don't know about that. I know. What? I'm saying I know what you don't know. My thought earlier, that we probably... You made a wise decision. You sacrificed the lives of others in order to continue your own survival. It truly is a natural human reaction. You simply made an emergency evacuation. The action is legally justifiable. He's the only one I feel bad about doing that too. Our time is up. You have done exactly as I commanded. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three of you. It would be inconvenient if you forgot you caused the deaths of others. No! How did this happen? Pleasant dreams. <laughs> you went button happy. All right. This is the conclusion. Oh yeah, I'm I'm ready for a cigarette and sleep fairly soon. Uh. 
I might run oh, it till yeah. one. Why not? I think it's the decontamination room. Decontamination? Nah, I want to hit seven hours. Not for any particular reason. Huh. This is weird. Weird? I just don't want to stop feel playing like I've yet. I been trapped in this room uh, before. You must be well, imagining things. since we've seen all this for the most part before. Uh, I got a new position at work, so my screen, my stream schedule is going to be you feel it as well? different. Not just her. I will have a Sundays so off. This as I have now. Very important. But I believe I will be Maybe. doing Tuesdays off to stream. Drugs um, and the bracelets. Comes with a dollar fifty raise too, so that's cool. But I'll be getting off at nine every day, so maybe a lot more streams, and I'll have energy to do them. So, oh. Sorry. But yeah. So good stuff. And with all your help at home, one day, I'll become able to not go to work at all. Just keep following. Well. Gotta wake up somehow. Hey. Look what time it is. <laughs> it's after midnight. So it's the next day? Not just day, but year. It's 2029 now. What a horrible start to the Ooh, year. that was a choice. Now oh, now scorpion pepper hot sauce, casualties. fuck yeah. I couldn't remember the one called Diana, love. Tell me one more time. You didn't choose to push it, did you? The button in the decontamination room. No. For a split second, it was as if. It was as if someone had taken control of my body. Has this me. ever happened to you before? <coughs> and maybe you hit your head somewhere. I don't think so. That I can remember anyway. Well, that lie, what therein are you lies the problem. Trying to say, Fi. Well, I thought it might be possible it was alien hand syndrome. What? Alien hand? It happens very rarely when the corpus callosum, where the right and left hemispheres connect, is abnormal. Remember, the right brain controls the left side. And the left controls the right. So if the communication paths that connect them are damaged, the left and right sides of your body may fall out of sync. Like trying to put a shirt on with your right hand, but taking it off with your left. Grabbing onto a scalding pan with your right hand while your left tries to make it let go. Or something even stranger, when your right hand attempts to suffocate you, so you use your left to restrain it. I've heard of cases where it's happened. An interesting development arises with that story. Where does a human's consciousness exist? Is it in the left brain or the right? When your right hand's choking you... It survives in the spongiosum of the it. penis. That would imply that the part of you that doesn't want to die is in the right brain. But what if in the left brain... There's another part of you buried inside that does want to die. 
So, if you ever ask that person, do you want to live or die? If the center for speech is located in the right brain, he'd clearly say, of course, I want to live. But what if it's the reverse? If the center for speech is in the left brain, then I'm sure he'd say, hurry up and kill me. There's no way to know which one is the true self. Or, perhaps, it's more like they both are. It's just simply that the one who has the power <coughs> of speech is more dominant. Have you ever considered, what if your body was split into left and right? In that moment, where would your consciousness go? Left or right? Hey, bye. What are you getting at with this? I'm not sure, but the I have 90 minutes to do it. Syndrome. My mouth speaks for itself, regardless of what I want it to do. How... how can you be joking around at a time like this? No, it's because we're in the situation that I brought it up. Well, like you said, it doesn't feel real. Hearing the announcement or reading on the board? You think those six might still be alive? Let's keep believing. There's no point. The six of them are, are definitely dead. I made How sure. How do you know? That. Well. I don't know. I just do. It came to me in a dream. <laughs> you all right, Cab? This guy doesn't know anything, does he? He's lucky. Well, we may as well get going. Like Sigma said earlier, we shouldn't lose hope. Let's have faith that they're still alive. Besides, that is even more of a reason that we must keep going. Yeah. So we can go and bring back a rescue team? Exactly. Oh, yes. Thrilling stuff, thrilling stuff. Trust that dog. What the fuck? I'm not going. Huh? Hey, Diana. We kind of fucked up if she didn't make it and only made it halfway underneath the door.
wants to touch a yellow button and the other six participants. However, pressing the button just like that would make you a bird of air and person. And even if you did escape that term, in a court of law, what you did would be considered bad. What the fuck did he say? Stop, but... Okay, we got new stuff there, got new stuff there, new stuff there, got to start with what we know. Yeah. I'm gonna look up what that means. Now announcing the current casualties. Presently, there are none. <sighs> Please keep the true award. The decision game. Ha! Enjoy my ass. <sighs> well, at least everything went well. We now know that Q-Team and D-Team are safe. Oh, so the votes were balanced. You mean from back at 1330? I'm pretty sure that's the moment. So, what time is it now? Uh, zero, 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 0003. Does that mean we're in the new year? If the time on this watch is right, I guess so. Whoa, 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 but wait. What if time ended up going in reverse? What are you talking about, Junpei? Huh, I, um, I just thought that maybe that was the case. So, uh, what do we do now? This is becoming a regular thing. Wanna play hoops? There aren't any balls. We can use Gab. Junpei, you're really... Then how about that box? Yes, how about this box? Is this a force quit box. I know that. I'm asking what exactly it's going to end. Whatever it is, we can't do anything unless we have the password. Hmm. A password. Huh. What is it, Carlos? I feel like... Uh, I can almost remember. What? The password to open this box. How do you know? Just shut up for a second. I think the password has to be...
know the password. Ah, uh, damn it. It's right there on the tip of my tongue. Do I have to do this for all of them? Yeah. At least these sections are short because I don't know the fucking password. Good though. Now we know no one's died so far. So far? You make it sound like somebody will die at some point. Isn't that obvious? We're all human. Ah, oh, come on. There's no way I'm dying of old age here. Oh, but I guess the vote at 1330 went really well. Sounds like everyone spread the votes out. Wait, forget that for now. Look at your bracelets. Zero, 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 three? Not exactly a Happy New Year kind of mood, is it? Yeah, there's nothing to be happy about. There is! The death count is zero. That's plenty to be happy over. That being said, how about a celebratory shot? Do you need to rub it in? Oh, that's right. You're still a minor. It's not what I meant at all. Uh, his head. He's got a giant metal orb on his head, remember? Oh, that thing. Well, don't you have some sort of mouth part to open? No. Of course I don't. If it opened, it would have done that along... It's open. Huh? Look, the box. The force quit box. Let's check it out. Uh, why is it open? And what's up with this weird device? Huh, something's displayed on the monitor here. It says, to execute the force quit program, the central control computer must be booted. Central control computer? What if... maybe it's... Hey, where are you going? Uh... <coughs> what was that sound? <laughs> where are we? The map says we're in... The quantum computer dome. The computers in here govern all the functions that run within the shelter. Why do you know that? I can't really tell you why. Because I don't know. What? Anyway, I think they mean this when they say central control computer. So, what about that thing? Wait, I feel like I'm remembering something. I know. Know what? The way you start up the system. First, we need to get the cover off. There's no way we can insert the plug if we don't. The plug? Please, just shh. Huh, I think the number is... Man, I don't know. What was it? Uh, Come on. Throw the kid off the balcony.
Alright. Alright. This is the same robot voice from hey, the last game. Excuse me, but, uh, Which wasn't that just a Kane's voice? Like all the Kane? lost child here. Who are you talking about? Well, best to get her home soon. Her mother must be worried. And you know better than anyone that I don't have one. Good god. Zero, 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 three. <sighs> We're in the new year now. So it's no longer 2028, but... January 1st, 2029. Our memories end after we voted at 1330. Now we're stuck with a 10-hour blank gap. Were we really asleep that whole time? We uh, might have woken up several times since then, but we've only forgotten about it. Because of the drugs. Quit box. <sighs> Why is it open? No idea. There's text displayed on the monitor. Hey. Force quit program on standby. To initiate, two key items must be set. About that. Wait, I think there's more to the message. Each is a mother's memento. A mother's memento? Diana, does any of that ring a bell for you? <laughs> no! Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> My head! My head! Can't be. What is it? Did you remember something? But if that's true, then the key items we need to insert are. I don't know. Dog is not a key item, apparently. Huh. I, I wonder why I... What's the matter? I thought I remembered. But then it slipped through my fingers. Ugh, I can't believe it. Wait. I know I can do it. Let me try again. Okay. Let's see. I suppose we have to go back.
And they actually start killing people. All right, and that seems like a good enough time to uh, call it, I guess. Because, uh, I don't know, do y'all want to see me uh, just murder my way through stuff? Well, oh, it's, it's, it's definitely way better. Well, I wouldn't even say way better. It, it, I like it. I like it, uh, quite a bit. Um, I, I don't know so far. I don't know, they threw aliens into my time travel epic, so. I don't really know how I feel too deeply about it. But, uh. <laughs> um, yeah, I, by the way, I'm finally able to look at Discord because I'm not stuck. Uh. Yeah, I have some ideas, um, but I also give you full freedom to just make whatever you feel would fit the theme, as it were. Yeah, is what it is. Let me play some music. Oh, I forgot. You know, I mean, the name itself is kind of fucked up and horror-y, so. I've played nothing but horror, horror-adjacent, and puzzle games. So, I don't know. I have some ideas, but not very solid ones. i tell you what. Do what feels right. What you think will work, I'm pr pretty sure will. All right. I got nothing else. <laughs> I'm actually very tired. Uh, thank you for joining me tonight. It's been fun. The only one who stuck with it all night was my good friend Jim and I, Best Death. Uh, thanks, buddy, for sticking around. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Uh, I think I'll just raid Norman since he's playing Village. And uh, that will take care of how to end stream cause you know okay that's fair that's fair uh I feel like this this room is just shrinking or expanding given the mood. It is never a consistent size for me, but everybody, y'all have a good night.